Giddy up, Cowboy. It's time to go racing in Texas. Adam Alexander, Joey Logano, and rookie race analyst Ross Chastain on the call coming up after the break. Enjoy the race, everyone. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate hanging out here. Thanks for all the ones that came back here er, from the qualifying and practice stream. Thanks for the likes already. We're uh, they're getting going early. I think we missed the national anthem and everything, but uh, that's kind of crazy. But uh, let's go back to live right now. It's the Andes Frozen Custard 300. Qualifying happened here yesterday at TMS. 19-year-old rookie Jesse Love is on the pole. It's his third pole position of the season. Starting alongside the veteran, the reigning champ, Cole Custer. He won here at Texas in 2018. And the hottest driver in the series is Chandler Smith. Comes in with a championship lead, two wins this year. And he rolls from the outside of row two. So good to have you with us on this Saturday afternoon, everybody. We got a rookie on a pole. We got a rookie in the booth, Ross Chastain, making his first appearance on an Chastain. Xfinity broadcast alongside the old veteran, Joey Logano. I'm Adam Sorry. Alexander. How do you feel about to do that quick? Well, I feel better than the rookies on track, okay? They don't know what they're about to experience. They think they felt it in practice. Qualifying was very nerve-wracking, trying to commit to a lot of throttle in three and four, but... No matter how it goes up here for me, my head's not going to hurt at the end of the day like <laughs> these guys if they get in trouble. You'll learn you, you can't Enrique, win, what's but going you on? can't lose either up here. So it ends up being pretty fun. That's right. What do you think about this track? I mean, Ross touched on it, but it is challenging in so many ways, Joe. Uh, very much so. You have two completely different ends. You have turns one and two that's very flat. You're going to come out of the gas a lot. The track's going to get pretty wide there throughout the race. It's going to change a lot throughout the race. Then you have turns three and four, a lot of banking, a lot of wide open time. Almost can get it wide open in these cars, but not quite. And so you'll see a lot of different types of racing. And sometimes cars will be good on one end, but not so much the other end. So you got to work on that compromise here. Ross, I know you did your homework. Give me a couple of drivers to watch. 
Well, I mean, th- there's a couple of teams I think you have to watch, and then the drivers work themselves to the front from there. JGR, obviously, going to have a ton of speed. We- we've seen that for years, decades, up, possibly. Triton. Good to see you, buddy. Um, but don't count out Cole Custer in a JRM car. Give me Sammy Smith. That's like that's like ten guys maybe that you picked. picked so, the half the front you field. gave me the shot. You gave me the chance. To He's do it. learning quickly, isn't he? Can't lose. Let's go trackside now and get the command of fire engines. And now, race fans, here to say the most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome Chief Executive Officer for Andy's Frozen Custard, Andy Coots, with Andy's Frozen Custard's franchisees. What a beautiful day, race fans across America. Welcome to the Andy's Frozen Custard 300 at Texas Motor Speedway. Drivers, start your engines! The engines have fired. We are ready to roll in Texas. Today is round two in the dash for cash. These drivers are All saying right. Let me pause that. Let me pause that. All right. Welcome in, everybody, to the stream. Appreciate everybody being here. Sorry, we got some construction going on here. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Hit that like button for us and subscribe to the channel as we are here for the Xfinity race. Let me see who you have to win this race. Who do you have to win this race? I'm going Jesse Love. He's finished in the top five, at least six races in a row. I'm going Jesse Love for the win. Let me see who you got. Deegan in the top 20. Chandler Smith for the win, T-Van says. Who you guys got? Ronald says, go Deegan. As you guys are coming in, make sure you're hitting that like button for us. Let me see if we get some more folks in here. A little slower weekend this weekend than last. This is on FS1 as well. Dixway, good afternoon, my son. Like watching NASCAR like his grandpa. Awesome, man. Go make sure you check out my man, the Dixon Way. There's all the ATL sports. Braves like us as well. He does Hawks. He does the Bulldogs. If we had a hockey team, he'd do those as well. But make sure you're checking out the Dixon Way. Yeah, they did have a hockey team, but they ruined it, so. Uh, they got rid of their hockey team, but he would be covering them if they were. But uh, there are the Jets now, the Winnipeg Jets. So good to see you, man, Dixon Way. So as you're coming in, hit that like button for us. We're trying to get to 100 likes on the channel, as always we did on our, our Xfinity stream, our qualifying stream, but we're at 24 right now. So let's see if we can get to 50. That'll be our next goal, 50. I know this is a bad choice, but I'm going to go on a gamble and pick Truex. Ryan Truex in that 20. Yes, I know it's a Gibbs car, but I hate the Cup Gibbs drivers. Uh, Yeah, and that 20 car has been strong with Amarola in it. Let's see, can Ryan Truex keep it going in that 20? Uh, Should be interesting to see. But not really any Cup drivers in this race today, but Cole Custer is going to be strong to beat here. He's strong here at Texas. And rest in peace, the Thrashers. That's right. The Thrashers now, a.k.a. the Jets, the Winnipeg Jets. But let's go down the line. Jesse Love, Cole Custer, Taylor Gray, Chandler Smith, Riley Herps, Justin Allgaier, Ryan Truex, A.J. Allmendinger, Sammy Smith, and Sam Mayer in your top 10. Brandon Jones, 11th. Anthony Alfredo, 12th. Austin Hill, 13th. Ryan Sieg, 14th. Sheldon Creed, 15th. Parker Kligerman, 16th. Corey Himes, 17th. Jeremy Clements, 18th. Kyle Weatherman, 19th. Haley Deacon, 20th. Jeb Burton, 21st. Josh Williams, 22nd. Kyle Sieg, 23rd. Daniel Dye, 24th. Brennan Poole, 25th. Blaine Perkins, 26th. Matt Benedetto, 27th. Josh Balicki, 28th. Parker Rutzlaff, 29th. Parker Emlering, 30th, 31st. Leland, Leland Honeyman, as a rookie there, Garrett Smiley in 32nd, SVG in 33rd, Dawson Cram in 34th. My gosh, how many players we got here? Chad Friedman in 35th, Ryan Ellis 36th, Joey Gase 37th. He's famous for throwing that hood at the other guy. And David Starr in 38th. So there is your lineup for Texas, the Indies Custard 300. And here we go, back in. What's up, Butterfly? It's Welcome a back. Great day in Fort Worth. NASCAR Xfinity Eric Series is going to take on Texas Deacon. Motor Speedway for the 46th time. Our Fox Weather 
77 degrees. It's going to be warm behind the wheel. 77 degrees, better than 100 in the fall. sunny skies. Chandler Smith has been red hot. Comes in with a championship lead, and boy, has he been consistent. Seven races, seven top ten finishes, the five podiums, a pair of victories, and that 3.3 average finish. And no cams today, guys. Time no cams seven races. Let's dial for the Xfinity race. Rolling fourth today. Chandler Smith, Adam, Joey, and Ross in the Fox booth. You got us? I got you. Hey, Ross is in the booth today. That'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look, with Joey and I up here, there's plenty of passing opportunities on track. But look. <laughs> you see those you, 81s in the chat, y'all. 81s for you Chandler Smith. Sight, you got really tight. Obviously, the track, if you get too high, not a lot of room for error. How do you balance that starting fourth here in this race? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it helps having a, a fast number 81 quick side proxy GR Supra. I don't know. I was committed to being wide open at 3 and 4 with the arrow offset of having these rear window slides. I was pretty close to wide open in the calling stuff last year, so I felt like I could do it. I was committed. Still, I wasn't there late exit. Had kind it of fully dumped there, but really proud of everybody at Joe Gibbs Race and have a really fast hot rod for today. And hopefully, can give a good show for you guys up at the booth and all the fans at home. Hey, man, Joey and I, we love the commitment. Keep going Remember for it. Remember that time that Joey Logano broke Denny Hamlin's today. back? Yep, thank you, guys. That might be the first time That's that a 11 driver years ago. trash talked a driver in a car a little bit. <laughs> so I like wreck. what you're bringing Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Like you man. Good to see you. Glad Get you made it. Gas. You know, Chandler has been Welcome rolling, in. no doubt. Eight consecutive top tens going back to last year. T-Van's going 81. Five in a row I'm going Jesse Chandler. Love for the win. Let's hear from him. He starts second today, Joey. Cole Custer, Joey Logano up here in the Fox booth. You got us? Yep, I got you guys. Well, everything seems to be going correct for you. You are in the Andes Cold Custer 300 in the Andes car, and you're a Cole Custer today driving it. How are you going to make this dream come true? Man, I mean, we just got to keep this Andes frozen it's Custer Custard. car up front. Um, but I think overall, JT and all our guys did a great job with the car. We got a better for 20 for the big win. W, what's uh, up, Reckless? Up there. I mean, I think some guys will take themselves out of it today. Um, with how sketchy the track will be to start, but just got to be there at the end of the race. I think we'll have a shot at it. Absolutely. Well, good luck in there. We'll be watching you. Thank you, guys. And now we take a look at our starting grid brought to you by Andy's Frozen Custard on the pole. Jesse Love, third time this year alongside Cole Custer. Row two. We mentioned Chandler Smith, but how about the effort for Taylor Gray? Third straight week driving the 19, had a career best at Richmond two weeks ago. Yeah, and in row, uh, row three here, Riley Herbst and Justin Allgaier. Obviously, that seven car going to be strong on the long run. Yeah, next up, you got A.J. Allmendinger, the veteran, and Ryan Truex back in the 20, trying to get that JGR car up front. Sammy Smith, that was one of my guys, one of the many I picked pre-race. A uh, lot of speed in this kid. He works hard during the week. Next to Sam Mayer, his teammate. Yeah, after that, Anthony Alfredo with a good qualifying run in row six. And Brandon Jones looking to turn some stuff around this year. Austin Hill. Double zero. Zeke. In this 21 team. Been together a long time. A lot of building with Austin behind the wheel. And Brian Sieg next to him. And you got Parker Kligerman, Sheldon Creed trying to gain some momentum as well. Both these cars with a solid run in Martinsville. You look at row number nine, Corey Heim, second in the truck race last night. He was impressive two weeks ago at Richmond, finishing inside the top five. Jeremy Clements there as well, making his 30th start at Texas today. The rookie Haley Deegan goes in row 10 with Kyle Weatherman, who was strong yesterday in both practice and qualifying. You can check out the rest of the starting lineup. Well, we do pilot. have an in-car cam, y'all. We, we do have an Josh in-car cam. Well, Adam, it's Custard. been a tough stretch for A.J. Allmendinger and his 16 Get team, but town. things are looking up for today. And you look at A.J.'s numbers. He's got two wins a mile and a half. In four starts at Texas, never finished outside the top ten. And when I talked to his crew chief, Alex Yance, earlier today, he told me they found the raw speed they'd been missing during practice yesterday. They feel good. They had qualified inside the Old top Custard's ten. Car. He said, obviously, we want to win. The most important thing for this team right now, we need a solid points day to get our mojo back, Regan. 
Well, Josh Ryan Truex returns to the Xfinity Series, of course, earning a part-time schedule for Joe Gibbs Racing. Ran the first two races of the year. Now hops back in the 20 car after Oops. five weeks off. A 20 car that has two wins and a second-place finish in the middle of that. Ryan told me he expects to do the exact same thing today. In practice, the car was good. He said maybe a little acclimation period as he gets through this first stage, but he has speed that he feels like he can get his second career Xfinity Series win. And the last time we went racing on Those a 66 and, and the 97. Speedway. It was the 20 car that pulled in. Looks the awful lane. pretty there in Texas Courtesy today. John Hunter Nemechek. Lights Regan are off on the pace car. Strengths, and it's great to see Ryan back in the car this weekend. We look at our rookies and where they start today. And there's a look at the 97 of Shane Van Gisbergen coming from deep in the field. Got some work to do, no doubt about it, as he continues to get acclimated to racing. Uh, four cars today to play Xfinity with. Series. That's awesome. Thank you, this Timothy, for the said, subscribe. On NASCAR the fan, what's going on? Auckland, New Zealand. Pretty crazy to check out another big track. They might take me a bit to get the hang of it. Way too conservative at the 97. Let me see those 97s. If you go back though, in the chat, I mean, if you're an I mean, SVG I mean, fan, really just isn't there at this SVG, style of let me see. Able to adapt to. We've seen his talent on full display on so many different occasions. Our race analysis, 200 laps, 300 miles. Stage one and stage two, 45 laps. That final run, All right, y'all ready? laps. And the pit window today, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 to 65 laps. These are the drivers dropping to the rear. Jeremy Clements, unfortunately, All because right. he was good in qualifying. And Parker we'll bring Retzlaw, the cars back after the green. The two weeks ago at Richmond. Y'all ready for some Always green flag? Keep it, keep it. Thank you, Blue Safari as well. Appreciate that. Keep the chat That's clean. You can cheer on your drivers as much as you want. How high can they move up it's a driver fan, fan friendly four, chat. Really so have fun. Pull those belts tight one last time. It's time to go racing in Texas. Here we go. That coming from exactly that, I don't have it live here. All right, one second. Yeah. When he said go to the bottom, even had it muted, it's still straight to the bottom and gave Chandler Smith the outside, which he was able to clear Cole down the back straightaway. Everybody filing in line here in the turn three. Only Justin Allgaier tiptoeing up there, but he's losing ground getting to the bottom, like we talked about. Uh, might have a little three wide action here, almost Allgaier. Driving down low inside of Taylor Gray. That black and yellow number 19 from Joe Gibbs Racing. Watch you the, see them all. Just bottom, right, bottom, bottom. Rearrange one, this one a little bit. Ranger up top there. Oh, Taylor Gray, you see him. Save, still loose. Whoa, cards are loose. How did he, How did he, How did he, How did he save that? that? Oh, my goodness. That was an awesome save. He takes He's still sideways. three or four times right there. <laughs> he is still so loose. Taylor Gray is in that 19. It may take him three or four. Taylor Gray so just saved the whole field from wrecking. That one. Meanwhile, his teammates going for the lead. Here's Chandler Smith, 81 on point early at Texas. Yeah, we've seen a lot of speed out of Jesse Love in qualifying. Obviously, at the, the drafting style tracks, as we take a look back at how Chandler Smith was able to drive right up to the rear bumper of Jesse, get him loose as well. Wow. That's what I love about these Xfinity cars, Joey. Yeah, and that's what kind of happened. Here. As we see a replay here, look at the 19. A little bit high off a of turn two, just gets loose. On lap and three, let's do it. Let me see those threes forward, in the chat. The We're going to honor left, Dale Sr. Right, right here. Catching it back and threes, forward. Threes, members, put your AJ threes Allmendinger. on lap three. That's we honor Dale Sr. right here on the channel. That's also a crash. Let me oh, see oh, those man. threes, y'all. And somehow, threes. he stayed inside the top ten. Taylor Gray now being scored eighth just in front of Brandon Jones. Well, I think everyone lifted behind him because they were pretty <laughs> certain he was going to wreck. Let me see those threes. Absolutely. As we look out the front of Cole Custard's front uh, roof camera, Andy's frozen custard. Uh, first well, race lap three, Cole. we honor Great Dale Sr. Them, by the way. Raise he you know what. Praise it, Dale. It's a natural fit for him as we see that 81 three. just a few car lengths in front of him. You mentioned the 81. He's one of those drivers highlighted in purple in our pylon. Those are the four yeah, drivers did. going for it's the all right. dash He'll be for back. cash today. You don't have to win the race. Just finish in front of the other three, and you pick up $100,000. Thank you so much, guys, the for the threes. One thing, Joey, as we go inside Chandler Smith's car, I see his head move around left to right a lot. Me, personally, I lean right, it into the right side. To, my uh, entire right side of my seat, from my toes to my ears, here. is all one line, and it's comfortable for me. 
He's got his head off the padding. How do you do it? Yeah, everybody, every driver's a little bit different. I, I like my head kind of wedged up into the headrest where I can't move really either way. Um, just from a safety standpoint, I always feel like that is best. Or at least that's what they tell us from the data is you want to get in there as best you can. So I like my eggs not to be scrambled at the end of the races. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, over medium? Yeah, it was a, over, it might be I'm over easy. a little bit, but yeah. I'm over easy guy. So. Okay. <laughs> Good battle for 15. Sheldon Creed in the 18. High expectations for him coming to the weekend. Same for Parker Kligerman, who was there in the 48. You know, something I see right there in third place, Justin Algeyer. You know, pretty strong start. He was able to pass a few cars. Now he's kind of stuck right now where he's at. I think he has a car that is actually right now better than the double zero of Cole Custer. A little bit stuck in dirty air. You see him. Flirting with moving up a lane in one and two last lap. I don't know if it's clear right now. Yet, but look for Justin to be one of the first ones to move up when it's available. There we go. Yeah, as we look back at, at where they started, Chandler started fourth, Justin sixth. Both of them moving forward. Uh, I didn't get a, a, I don't have a great memory. I don't remember where they were lap one or lap three, but those teams will be looking at that to try to make a choice for the choose cone later. I know there were a lot of teams that I talked to in the garage this morning that qualified in an odd-numbered position, which means they rolled off on the inside. They were all quite thankful for that at the end of qualifying to begin this race. But as you said, something is this track changes that could evolve and be a little bit different later in the race than it was earlier on that initial start. And right now, for Jesse Love, you look right in front of Riley Herbst. It's, he's not real fast at the moment, and he's trying to play defense. His key move right now is to put that car on the white line. If he gives Riley just a little bit of air, it's going to allow Riley to get right up to his back bumper. You look how loose that car is, the, the number two of Jesse Love. If he lets Riley get close to him, he's going to take more air off that spoiler, make it even looser, and be very hard to drive. Ten laps oh, in at is. Texas. This is uh, from Riley Hurst's car. We haven't had a caution, but we almost had a big crash. Save of the day, save of the year. Taylor Gray hanging on to it off of turn two. He would have wrecked the whole field, y'all. Taylor Gray would have wrecked the whole field. That's crazy. So right now we're looking along with Riley Herps. He is running in fifth place down the stretch here at Texas. Make sure you're hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Appreciate the subscribes. We're four away from 11,500 halfway to 12K. So thank you guys so much for everything. Keep it coming as Herps running away with it. Running away. So Chandler Smith in the lead. Let's see. Can we have a Chandler Smith cam? Let's see. Our cameras are today. Our Cole Custer AJ, oh, we do have a Chandler Smith. Let's go to the leader. Let's go to the leader and see how he's doing out front. Chandler Smith, oh, commercial, one second, y'all. We'll get it back here in a second. It's more mm. but just okay. So we have four cars to watch on the uh, cams today. The small teams keep NASCAR interesting, James says. We're under caution. Nope. It says green. But it's got... We're under caution. There we are. We're under caution now. Infections of blood clots, some fatal. Cancers, including lymphoma, the skin, heart attack, stroke, and GI tears occur. People 50 and older with a heart disease risk factor have an increased risk of... It a serious no, it left it in there. We're under caution. Not sure what happened. We'll see in a second. As we're looking at Chandler Smith's car. So we're under caution. We'll find out when they come back from commercial. We're going to, to come back. To all the drivers will be, be out to win out. Thank you. Under caution here on lap 12. Still under caution here. Under commercial break. Always the cautions happen under commercial all the time.
All right, coming back here from the audio. Back in Texas, we are under caution for the first time. Young driver Daniel Dye had the 10 car get away from him, making his second Daniel start Dye. in 2024. Here's the truck happened. driver. Yeah, just a little bit off the white line. Teammate Josh Williams really tucked up tight behind him. That air is going to affect that. If Josh is hunting the bottom. I'm not going to say that he did it on purpose. Obviously, both driving from Matt Colleague. Just got loose. That 10 car. Yeah, once you start going there, you're along for the ride. It's just how you got pass loose. Here, especially early in the race when it's kind of one groove right now. We talked about if you give that that line up, right? You give a little bit of air know, to right? the trailing car, it's going to allow them to pack air on you and get even looser. We were talking about that right before commercial. As a guy that grew up with Josh Williams, I'd like to hear what he said on the radio. Let's go I there think. now. Here's Team 11 radio. Yeah, I never touched him. I guess I just put air on him. I didn't think he hit him. I don't think he hit anything. I think we'll be okay. He had put air on him. He took air off of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a guy that grew up with Josh. Oh, 21, Lee, Troy. What's going on, buddy? A lot. That one wasn't it. Just some air. They were racing for 21st. We're 13 laps in at Texas under caution. When these orange. All right. So he wrecked his teammate. Yeah. He said that he didn't touch him, but you never know. But the 10 and 11 riding together there. Uh, he said he didn't touch him, but you never know. But well, he virtually doesn't have a camera, I guess, on his car. But uh, we're under caution, and we're going to go to Chandler Smith. He is the leader here. Chandler Smith, and then Al Geyer, Cole Custard. We're going to call him Cole Custard today. Uh, R Riley Herps and Ryan Truex. So that is your top five. But, yeah, he didn't touch him, though. It's still a teammate that wrecked. Man, colleague, let's go. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> so appreciate all the ones hanging out here. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and that like button. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes. We're halfway there already at 54. And thank you, guys. 11,500 buzzard 33 just subscribed. Thank you, buzzard 33. We appreciate you for subscribing. So we're 500 subs away from 12K already. Can't believe it, y'all. NASCAR is washed up. I disagree with you, Mike. I disagree with you. Uh, the, the, the turnout that we have here on, on YouTube is tremendous, uh, especially on Sundays. But uh, I, I uh, disagree with you completely. NASCAR is hotter than ever right now. And my YouTube channel proves it, that NASCAR is hotter than ever. So we're going to go back to green here. Pace car is, lights are off. And if you need to find out where one of your drivers are, let me know. I can scroll up. I know we only can see the top 18 here. But I think a little closer, the better than the wide shot out that a lot of people have. So if you're wondering, Deegan's in the top 20. Let's see if she can get to where she's over the sports score line. That's her goal, to get over the sports score line. Hmm. Let's see uh, who else we got. Yeah. Let's go back to see. Let's check out AJ Allmendinger. Where's he at? 16th. He's in A spot. And we're coming back to the auto right now from the commercial break. Kathleen dropping the 16, the dinger. You're watching the Andy's Frozen Custard 300. Cole met the folks from Andy's at the banquet last year in Nashville. I think this sponsorship is a match made in heaven. It is. <laughs> I'm just waiting for ours up here. Yeah, it's a little warm in here. Uh, Cole's cup looked not quite full. I think he was snacking on it during that shoot. He, he was. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. He Gotta live not the brand. Resist. You have to live the brand. I mean, we know that, Joey. All right, 16 <laughs> laps of 45 some complete. Fans in the crowd. On stage we'll, we'll one. Some Chastain fans, too. And here we go. Restart as we complete laps 16. Chandler Smith takes the inside. Here lane. we go. Green flag. Bang, bang, bang. And it's at lane. Let's go race race had a good launch. But Justin Algar just barely hanging on his right rear quarter. Going to try to stay there off of two. It's going to be close. Stayed there. This is our Toyota onboard camera. 
Allgaier hanging strong into three. This is A.J. Allmendinger in 10th spot. Big commitment from these guys right here. Justin Allgaier, he's done this a lot. He knows how good this clean air would be if he could tie this lap together and, and get clear of the 81. And right behind there, Cole Custer. He's wondering, what lane do I pick? Oh, look at that shot. That's right awesome. Right now, safe route is the bottom. It looks like he's going to maybe be able to pull underneath Justin. Nope. And these guys, even racing side by side like that, have been able to distance themselves from fourth where Ryan Truex and Riley Herbs are still side by side. Moving early, Ryan Truex qualified I'll check it out, Link. in the seventh position. He's now inside the top five, running fourth as he dives below Riley Herbst. Matt Benedetto is in 29th C. spot. He's top 29. 10 earlier this year on the mile and a half at Las Vegas. Been strong all weekend here at Texas Motor Speedway. Right along here with uh, Digger you know, for a lap. about the commitment. I think that's quite the understatement of, of what you have to do to get through three and four, especially early in the race. You talk about getting up a little bit too high. Here you get up are. a little bit too high here at Texas, it's ice. It, there is no grip at all. It's a lot of dust. It's all, it's very dirty, and your car will take off. And Ninth to six for C, side yeah. side by side through there that early in the race takes a lot of guts. What's up, Deb Bird's <laughs> dirty? Custer third right now, Josh. Coming up after this race, y'all, we're going to do the Atlanta Braves. Said that car fired off just a tick free. It was good on the short run, but he said the long run, that's his biggest concern. Just losing too much grip. He's fighting it a little too much. The team radio back and told him, hey, a lot of people are fighting the same thing. We'll get you adjusted during that first stop, but you're going to have to hang on for now. Regan? Well, Josh Cole's teammate, Riley Herbst, okay right now at the start of the race, running in fifth place. The bigger concern for him, though, is it's warm out today in a long race. The cool shirt that he is wearing is not working right now. Ross and Joey, I know you guys have experience with those cool shirts. They're great when they work. When they don't work, it almost boils you inside that car, doesn't it? It's not a fun experience when it doesn't work. I can promise you that. Uh, the good news is, is it's a fairly You're finally short here, race Geico. What's up, dude? Uh, thank goodness. Rebel Soul. Chastain's good in the booth. He's year, better than uh, degrees out. Uh, but Suarez, not be for sure. But experience for Riley today. Yeah, you, and you know, Riley's a guy. He puts the work in, though. Trainer Ryan up at Stenhouse's uh, gym there in Mooresville. Uh, I don't go there, but I hear about Riley and the work he puts Let's in. Let's go Dinger. Uh, he eats right. He shows up. Um, and, you know, physically, he should be able to get through this, even if it is hot. Uh, these Xfinity cars are warmer, I would say, of the three, the, the warmest of the three. Now, I haven't driven them with the slots in the rear glass like Chandler mentioned before the race when we were talking to him on the radio. But uh, that's got to help, obviously. It helped the cup cars a lot. Um, and if all else fails, you can cut the hose. Uh, they could pass you something in to cut it in a dire circumstance, uh, but it shouldn't get that 23 to go in stage point. one. Great racing back in the pack. Keep an eye on the 31. Parker Retzloff dropped to the rear with power. I'm not sure. I'm just checking up on it. starting to make some What's advances up, Karen? up Good inside welcome in. the top 25. Justin Allgaier second right now, just behind Chandler Smith on track. The amount of available grip that that CD1 has is on unbelievable. Aero wise it's stupid. Like it's it's unbelievable. He can enter the corner five to eight car length deeper than I can. Well, as he says all that, he's pressing That's the difference in that so Toyota we were talking about in the practice. The car, he they says, can stick in the, to, in the turns I, I, like I no other. I would look at this moment right now, and I'd say if the 7 gets out front, look out. He's going to be gone. Um, I, that might just be a typical driver play where your car is never good enough, and you're always looking at other things. As you see A.J. Allmendinger working underneath Jesse Love. You know, Jesse was definitely loose, and he's going to make him a little looser right there coming off the corner. He is just waiting for a pit stop, and I know that caution came out, and, you know, you're thinking if you're Jesse Love in the two, why don't you pit? You can't. It's just too early. He's going to give up too much track position, so he's got to just try to weather the storm until he gets to the end of the stage. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And subscribe. His best run Kev Cab. Kev Cab. Thanks for that subscribe. A second place finish last Saturday night at Martinsville. One of those drivers going for the dash for cash is Mayor. I will say this, though, about Jesse Love. I know starts on the pole has gone in the wrong direction right now at 11th, and we've talked about their race car. He had never seen this place before yesterday, and, and we talked off the top how difficult it is. So you put all of that in perspective, and when you look at what he's done the last four or five weeks, they always seem to finish better than they run, 
the door is open for it again, but he's got to be patient, as you guys said, because Sheldon Creed now driving by on the inside. And yeah. part of that is being a rookie, right? I mean, you don't know He'll what you're going to do sometimes. He'll get the hang of it. He'll learn. What, what do I need to do to get my car handling well in the race? You're Still welcome, Kev Cab. What do I need in the race? This though? is the 81, know, speaking of, Randy. An Xfinity car. How watching, you know? uh, so looking back on Justin just Allgaier in second spot. Car. Regan, what do you have on the two car? Well, Joey, that's exactly right, and he is fighting that car right now in terms of the handling. Very loose in for Jesse Love right now, but tight in the middle. As you guys know, that's something a lot of guys fight when they come here to Texas, and the more cars that get on his bumper, the worse that's getting for him right now. Wow, guy. Oh, that's not fun. Loose in here is not fun. You think? Turn one's going to be the and a worst. new leader going to be here. Having to slow down as we just an Look at Algaier passing Chandler. Yeah. It's going to have a run here outside of the 81. Number seven flashing by on the outside. There goes Justin Allgaier. Forget about it. New leader in Texas. It's the veteran from Illinois. We see those sevens, y'all. A season ago, and now he's got that clean air. We sure see those sevens like in the chat. Pretty incredible <laughs> car. If you ask Let's go to the radio now. <laughs> Let's ask the 81. Shaking his head. Let's ask the 81. Now he's going to talk about the seven and how incredible it is. And both those drivers. Up for the dash for cash, that extra $100,000. For Allgaier, it'd be the sixth time he had won it. That, that's a $600,000 yeah, was a move, wasn't it? over time. That's pretty good. Allgaier leads Smith, Custer, Truex, and Herbst. All right. We're going to a commercial break. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in on the go at CeeLo as we tried to bring you every NASCAR race there is every weekend. Uh, that's our goal to bring it to you guys. So we'll promise I can't do them all, but I'll try to do them all for you. But this is our, I don't know how many races we, I think we missed one Xfinity race so far this year, uh, but we're trying to bring them to you and I hope you guys enjoy the coverage of flag to flag coverage here on, on the go at CeeLo. So uh, as you're listening to the FS1 broadcast, plus we bring some in-car cameras off of NASCAR.com. We can't show them all the time. I don't like to have them on all the time, but a uh, little little pop-ins there to check out what's going on. But uh, for me to do it, for make sure you hit the like button for us. That really shows that you really enjoy the, sh the channel. And uh, let's see where we are on the likes, or where we at on the likes. Let's see, my laptop died, my iPad died, so I got to go back here. Let's see where we at on the likes. Let's see. We are... 66 so we're trying to get to 100 likes 100 likes hit that like button for us subscribe to the channel as well uh that helps out the channel but just hanging out here watching is a good shot thank you so much you're welcome link and kim hollingsworth randy says yeah go baby baby number seven get to the lead that seven went by like smith was entering the pits yeah he just put it on him didn't it rick and james says go justin nascar just needs to add some horsepower and the tires need to wear that and tear. The racing would be incredible on the short tracks. Still love the sport regardless. That's right, John. Uh, we are loving some racing this year. I think NASCAR is stronger than ever, bigger than ever this year as well. It, from the Daytona 500, was sold out early in 2023. And that never happens. And it's been great. I've been seeing a lot more people at the uh, Xfinity races and the truck races as well. Uh, as well in the attendance. So we're having a good time. Hope you guys enjoy the stream. Keep it clean. Have fun. Talk to each other about the race. Keep the chat going. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hit that like button. So, all right, let's get back to it here in just a second. Commercial break coming back here in just a second. SVG is probably regretting doing a full season. I think he's he's learning. He's learning, I think. Uh, let's where SVG. Where is SVG? He is in 28th. I mean, he could be dead last and a lap down, but he's not. So uh, 28th for SVG. Taylor Gray, he almost wrecked the field. He's back there in 16th. Jesse Love falling back now to 14th. Still trying to figure that out. Dinger there in ninth. But Allgaier continues the lead. And back to it. If I can find my... 27 laps in, and he's now stretched his advantage to nearly two seconds. You look at Justin Allgaier, and he's finished top 10 here at Texas Motor Speedway on 14 different occasions. And if he finishes top 10 here today, he will match Kyle Busch for most top 10s all time 
in the history of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. That is an impressive number. One of the tremendous veterans racing on Saturday is Allgaier. He's won 23 times. If he gets a 24th, that would match the boss man, Dale Jr., for career victories. But he's been special and has never been able to get the trophy here at Texas. Been close on many occasions. Well, he's looking pretty solid today to do a lot more than a top 10. Yep. That car is dialed in, able to set the pace, almost two seconds out up front. You know, when I look at him, I, I look at the team he's with. Obviously, a lot of wins, championships over the years. He's been there in the fight for it. But the steady factor has been him for my, the better part of my career. Uh, Regan Smith, our analyst on pit road, was that guy before I raced with Regan. I feel a little old now that I'm saying that. Now I've raced with Justin a lot in that seven car. Uh, and you just see Justin go through the transitions of the updates with Xfinity cars, different crew chiefs, different competition directors that Kelly and Dale put in place, LW, that they are, as they continue to grow their team, Justin is that steady force with Brant on the car uh, that you see continue to show up year after year and have this speed, um, even if he does complain about other cars that he's faster. I agree than. with uh, <laughs> Wheel the Sky. It's, uh, they're not going to add horsepower. I tell you, you hear these guys pedaling it quite a bit. These guys are about a second and a half or so slower than what their fastest lap was 38 laps into a run so they're definitely feeling tire fall off there you see the cars moving up the racetrack searching for grip looking for speed that way uh that's all good Austin signs six. for racing yeah, our forward performance onboard camera gives us a good look at austin hill who has worked his way up the sixth and trying to bounce back from disappointment last week at martinsville and now we go on board with Jeb Burton. This is the state water heater's on board camera, and he's been good here today. 13th for the Virginia native and looking for more. Yeah, it's so cool to see state water heaters on that car with Jeb, longtime partner of his, and somebody that he's really been able to build a career with. They've been with his dad and work for so long. Uh, they've kept it in the Burton family. And as Jeb is racing with these cars, look, two JGR cars, either side of him, just past the junior motorsports car. Uh, this is uh, Hertz car to get fired up. He, in he wants fifth place, to succeed. looking he back on Austin this. Hill. Uh, lives, you know, lives at home, uh, travels over to the shop in the, the simulator. I see him in and out of the Chevy simulator uh, when they have time. And uh, as a guy like me that came in about the same oh, look time, look at Brandon Jones mistaken for Jeb every now and then. Coming I mean, out of nowhere. Weird, but uh, you see him racing around these these cars, and you see his car go across the bump as they're running the second Pretty lane good. in 24. So much better than that 18. He's able to get position inside of him. He's able to get position. It's still not going to be an easy pass as the top lane does seem to be preferred at this point, this late into a run with five laps to go. Look so at Herbs the line gets around the Truex. So a little risk making this and now he's in the he back. get this done and get back in line, that 19 is a big slide 14 off the tool. is a the lap down a there. As we pan over, 19's inside of him. Momentum means everything. Taylor Gray had the early drift, but he's rallied. Was outside the top 15, trying to work his way back toward the top 10. Come on, close seven. On the end of stage one, only four to go. All Geyer, 2.6 seconds four in front of Chandler. To go Smith. on stage one. And the battle for fifth is on. Ryan Truex, Austin Hill, and now Brandon Jones enters the party. You know, that racing is so much fun to watch because, you know, they're in line and you got to sit there and think about okay, is this run I have big enough to actually clear them, or am I going to get stuck on the bottom like Jeb did and, and possibly lose a spot? You gotta weigh all those things out, and sometimes it's a, it's so it's so inviting to go take that run, and sometimes it's just not good enough, and the risk isn't quite worth the reward. You gotta think through all that stuff at 180 miles an hour. Take the run, take the run, and <laughs> take the run it every out. time. That's my, that's I know I that. Yeah, <laughs> I've raced around you enough to know you're taking it. <laughs> you, you think I studied for your whole career? I know we're similar. Hey, you were doing this for a decade before me. I watched you. That's the problem. Everyone watched. <laughs> All guy are working lap traffic. This is big as we head toward the end of the stage. Who's going to stay on the lead lap? Who might get the free pass after going one lap down? Two to go. And, you know, we've been hard on Junior Motorsports. They hadn't had a, a top five finish this season until last week. They put three in the top five at Martinsville. All guy wins the stage last week in position to win a stage today and leading a ton of laps. Al Geyer Riley get it Hurts here. By stage teammate. one. Yeah, back to those JRM cars, too. That, that's not because they haven't been performing, right? Algar had the race won. He did. At Phoenix before. Oh, remember that? With Algar, he crashed when he was leading. Remember that, y'all? about to, to win this stage in the last We were right here. here for that one. Mentioned earlier, swept the stages last year. 
at Texas. And that was the second time he had done that. Got a stage victory last Saturday night at Martinsville. Seven cars got it in the win today. He leads 18 laps in the opening stage. Congratulations, and wins stage Justin Algaier. For the fifth time in his career. Chandler Smith is second. Herbst hangs on to third. Brandon Jones gets up there inside the top five. Same for Truex. Custer goes in the wrong direction late in the stage. Austin Hill gets points. Stage Great one is over. Great job by Sieg to stay in the top ten. Almondinger is ninth. And Parker Kligerman second here last year, tenth in stage one. Justin Allgaier in charge here at Texas Motor Speedway. So Justin Allgaier wins the stage. And we are done with stage one. Hope everybody's had a good time so far. If you are a Al Geyer fan, let me see those threes in the chat. Oh, this threes, the sevens in the chat. Let me see those sevens in the chat, y'all. Sevens in the chat, 75 likes. Thank you, guys. 25 to go to 100. Help us get to 100 likes. Let me see those five. Little gator. Little gator. The T van just for you. I have the Blaney hat on. The Blaney hat. We got the 12. The 12 on today. NASCAR fan dropping the seven. NASCAR is American sport, Mr. I don't think it's just an American sport. I think it's an international sport. We've had tons of international fans uh, in here during the uh, races. So. All right, let's go to who's at second. Let's go to Chandler Smith and see during the pits to see what happens. Let's watch the pit stops here. Go Jeb Burton. Craig says he's my hometown favorite. Richard says. Switch. It's your business. It's your horizon. All right, let's see here. We'll stick with Chandler Smith here during caution. Chandler Smith finds himself in second place. See if we can see some pit stops here on this caution here. But keep on hitting that like button. We're almost to 100 likes. We appreciate you guys so much for all the love here today. 84, 16 to go to 100. 16 to go to 100. And stage two is 45 laps as well. But we're completed 47 of 200 laps today. Right after this, we're going to be doing the Atlanta Braves game. So I got that stream up as ready. I got to dish that out to all our social medias as well. They're playing on the Miami Marlins in Miami. And if you haven't watched a Brave stream on our channel yet, uh, you're missing out. We have a different way of presenting it. Back to the audio. Move of the stage, sponsored by Andy's Frozen Custard. We didn't even a need sweet to vote move on of the this, move. One. Oh, this one. Taylor this one Gray is, almost uh, wrecked. I hope it's not topped because I don't know that you get that lucky He went twice this way, he race, went that but, uh, way, he Taylor went Gray, this way. Heck of a job. Didn't quit driving it. A.J. Allmendinger, best seat in the house. <laughs> he was just aiming for the car, knowing it was going to go somewhere AJ else at was some like, point. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm not sure because <laughs> I'm pretty sure That seven car is so <laughs> illegal. Let's go back to the end of the stage because there was a lot of racing going on inside the top ten. Yeah, you see the double zero... Uh, he was holding this group up. The 98 ends up getting by him after this, but the 21 pushing the 20 through that first dogleg, Joey, that's tough. Yeah, and that's coming to the end of the stage right you there. Ain't winning. comes out right <laughs> after that, and I, I think the 20 was like, well, where are you going? <laughs> this is the end right here. Here's 20 Radio, Ryan Truex. 21's got my tires on. We're going on the straightaway. Get back, folks, too. A 20 cars strong. You know, and so I he can do something with it, though. A guy that spotted for me uh, before in, in different series. He's one that's on you right away. Hey, back to work. Do not worry about that. Calm down. 
and he does it so smoothly. Sometimes I, I struggled to hear him and what he was saying because he's just so quick to be like, get back to work. He gets you right back on pace, and, and he'll be able to keep Ryan in line. His dad, Mark, spots, and his dad drove right here uh, in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for many years, probably 20 years ago, but a lot of veteran leadership up on that spotter stand. Well, big pit stop here. All right, here we go. Let's watch them. Let's watch Chandler so Smith and crew go at take it. Take a little pressure off their pit crew. Don't speed, right? I mean, Don't just, speed here. Uh, Don't uh, screw uh, this one up. you got a big advantage. They're heading your way, Regan. Adam Justin Allgaier seemingly perfect through that first stage in the seven car, but not overly happy with it right now. Told the team it's very free when it lands, gets extremely loose, back tire sliding, and then the front he does not work in the middle. He wants help with that in the 81 car, Chandler Smith. His car is very tight when he gets back to the throttle, especially when he moves up to the higher lane, Josh. Story for the 21 of Austin Hills just being too tight. Said he's too tight to run the bottom like he See wants to. If he to. gets out too front, in dirty he's got well. Austin he Hill be I need track position uh, to be uh, able to run better the way I want for the double zero of Cole Custer. They're going to take some swings, air pressure, track bar because he was plowing he's tight out. towards the end of that run. Here's the race off pit road. So hurts yeah, gonna be, Custer. Gonna be actually won by not even showing on Cole, our chart. Chandler uh, Smith. Corey Heim missed his pit box. Austin up, Hill, Turex. Yeah, there was a whole lot going on there for those drivers. Brandon that Jones made missed four stops. spots. So we'll reset the running order when we come back as we get ready for stage number two. 45, now 49 laps in the books at Texas. All right. Al Geyer came out a little lower than he wanted to be. Where is Al Geyer? What happened to him? Horrible pit stop. Oh, my God. He came out 16th. Came in first, came out 16th. Can't wait to see these pits times. What happened with Al Geyer there? What happened? Let's see what happened here. Hmm. Let's go. So glad he had a bad pit stop, SJS34 says. What happened? I know Cole, he always goes to the outside. Brandon Jones comes out first. Okay, let's look at there. Okay, okay, I was about to say, Algeyer. Okay, he's fine. He came out first. Riley Herbst, second. About to say, they must have just uh, then reset it yet. I was about to get it. About, I was like, wow, what happened? Okay, never mind. Yeah, they reset it on us. My store, my design business works for But we'll be bringing the audio back here in a second, guys. As a commercial break, we always mute the commercials. And this is a good time right here to talk about my social media. Uh, here is the social media. On the go at CeeLo is our Facebook page. Make sure you're following us over there, giving the page a like, giving us uh, – we always – I got a uh, post on that on Facebook for the race. Did I? I don't know if I did or not. On the go – CeeLord16 is the Twitter, and on the go at CeeLo1 is our Instagram, and on the go at CeeLo is our TikTok. Usually when I'm back-to-back, -back, I usually just – I don't post about the Xfinity – if we did the NASCAR right ahead, because most of the people that are watching the NASCAR qualifying are going to watch your uh, Xfinity race as well. So, but uh, there is that on the go at CeeLo one and on the go at CeeLo is our TikTok. I try to been doing a lot of Atlanta Braves highlights on the TikTok as of late. I try to get as much as I can. I really don't understand TikTok and how to um, the tags and stuff, but also uh, my Streamlabs is now offering streaming on TikTok. So, I'm going to have to test that out first, but uh, we coming back here. And then also we're on Twitch, on the go at CeeLo, all one word. But today we're just on YouTube this weekend. Something's going on with the multi-stream, so I'm going to have to test that as well. So hope everybody's doing well, and uh, we're going to get back to racing here and uh, see how it goes. P26 for SVG. We mentioned there was some chaos coming off of pit road. Justin Allgaier did win the race off. We didn't uh, have him coming off there, but he is the race leader. A.J. Allmendinger was ninth at the end of stage one. But listen what happened when he was coming into his pit stall. Yeah, let's look here as we go to the replay. The turn for about the 39. Ray, 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 
Oh no. Can you guys put a sign out or something? Yeah, and it's it's always the first stop's always the hardest, right? Because it's the first time you've seen your pit stall in person like that. I'm a you know, you see it before the race or when you're riding around. But 28th um, uh, SVGs and 26. That's going to take a, a long time to to dig out of for sure, but. Plenty of laps to go here, 150 or so to go. Corey Heim also missed his pit stall. He was 14th. He also got a speeding penalty. He will come from the back. Josh Bullock. We go, green flag. Oh, All guy like a leader as we go green in stage two. Yeah, this will be a much different restart now that the top lane has been coming in. Riley Herbst able to hang tough on the outside until he gets to the corner. And the seven is gone. Hey, you look at that. You know, sometimes the pace laps, Joey, dirt and debris guys aren't up there scrubbing their tires can just kind of float up there and have it a little dusty also low tire pressure these xfinity cars move around a lot with the rear track bar the rear truck arms as we see cole custer get by his teammate clear in a second it's it's hard enough right now with our cup cars with low tire pressure you think back to truck arms and all the movement mm. in the back riley herbs uh tiptoeing here a bit in that second lane chandler smith jumps up to third mentioned riley herbs who settles in in front of Austin Hill, who's in the top five. Sheldon Creed doing a nice job. He spent a lot of time outside the top 15 in stage one. 18 is now sixth. And one of those drivers going for the dash for cash. They're all highlighted in purple in our pylon. Yeah, a little bit further back. Another big moment for Taylor Gray off a of turn four that lap. Uh, again, like we saw off turn two earlier, uh, a lot of people behind him, I feel like, checked up to give him, give him space uh, as, as uh, he saved it. Let's get an update on A.J. Allmendinger, Josh. Yeah, and you saw the frustration after that pit stop for A.J. Allmendinger, and this team talked about having or needing a smooth race. Well, what's more, not only complaining about that, A.J. Allmendinger complaining about allergies as well that have been bothering him during the day. So some frustration for A.J. not getting better. Hopefully that pit stop at least can help them out. Though. And a whole lot going on around him as we ride on board. This the Celsius. Allergies are no joke, y'all. From AJ Allergies, Allergies are no joke. Side of the 51 of Jeremy Clements. You know, and AJ he can was, just crack was the just top 15. Before the, this mistake on Racing the good. So it's not like he's just going to drive through the field. He's back in 22nd position right now. It's it's going to take a long time to, to break back into the top 10. Let's go, Creed. Speaking of top 10, Jeb Burton is there. Just outside the top 10, late stage one, running eighth now. Make it ninth. Brandon Jones goes by on the outside as Truex and Hill continue side by side. These two just can't get away from each other. Well, I think at this point, neither one's going to let each other go as he gets loose. <laughs> the 20 got loose underneath him there. He didn't lose any time, Joey. Didn't I, matter. Austin Hill must have been lifting, too. Ryan Truex driving that car through three and four. Listen to this duo. We haven't looked at Jeb Burton yet. Offer. Clear, clear, all clear. Good to slide. All clear, all clear. Take it, take it, take it. Half, in line. Right with you. Good, in line. Hit your marks. Don't overdrive. A little easier to get pushed down the back stretch, Joey. To combine with newer tires, he's able to drive away. Yeah, a little straighter and be able to clear that. Here's another pass right behind him. Brandon Jones along with 18 car of Sheldon Creed. Here's Jeb Burton. We see that nine make a couple passes here. Jeb Burton early in, the in Qualified ninth place. Yesterday, but has pushed his way up to seventh in the running order. And I'm curious, you know, we just saw Austin Hill get passed by Ryan Truex. Curious to see. Austin's been doing this a long time with this team, with this car. Uh, Ryan, a lot, even more experienced, Frank says, yes. more sporadic, not as many consistent starts. The last run, Austin Hill really turned on lap 15, 20 uh, laps into the run. Curious to see if Let's that happens Haley. again. If, Shelby uh, says. And uh, Mark Gutekunst, his uh, engineer, can get that thing, uh, make it live longer into the run. Rookies running 14th and 15th. We've said so right much along about with Jim Burton here for a lap. Right behind him, Haley Deegan. And maybe we shouldn't be surprised. Her best run of the year came the last time we were on a mile and a half at Las Vegas. And one year ago, right here at Texas, she was sixth in the Craftsman Truck Series race as Chandler Smith dogs Cole Custer for second on track. And you got to think, how long are you going to follow him right in line before moving up? If you see the outside lane as an option, I know it's a little earlier in the run, only being 16 laps into the stage. It took 
you know, uh, 28 laps before someone made a pass on the outside the first run. But the outside's been worked in already, and Cole's going for the defensive play of taking the top. So track is definitely much different than it was the first run. You know, and, and one thing can be tough is the, the speed is so much quicker now than it was at the end of that run. They're trying to reacclimate into that speed with these new tires. It's a great day at Texas Motor Speedway for Justin Allgaier, who leads... And the fans who are having fun. Uh, SM, uh, it's uh, Chastain and Joey Logano in the booth for the Xfinity race. I think Chastain's doing a good job. Uh, he's a lot better than uh, Suarez and who was in last week? Uh, it wasn't Blaney. Who was it? I mean, I, li I like Kozlowski as well. Uh, but Chastain's doing a good job in there, so... Hope everybody's had a good time today. Make sure you're hitting that like button for us. Alfredo has the best scheme. That gold and black looks awesome. There you go. Yes, sir. Uh, what did I say was my favorite on the Xfinity? Oh, the Cole Custer. It, I mean, race sponsor. You can't go wrong with that. So uh, Cole Custer. Spike the like. That's right. Keep on hitting that like button for us, y'all. And help it out. What's going on? Cindric was in last week. That's right, Cindric. That's right. Uh, but Kislowski's done a good job as well in the booth. I like that. I wish, but Logano looks like he's in there every week. He's going to be, I think he's training for his retirement job already. So uh, I think Logano's in there every week. So, but I think Suarez was horrible. I don't think he did a good job. I understand he's, his English isn't the greatest, but. Uh, I didn't think he did a good job. Not a fan of Logano. His voice is annoying, SJS says. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe someone give it, maybe put like, uh, I'd like to see uh, Chastain and maybe Keselowski in there together. That would be pretty good. I think those two guys would work well together. But uh, just what, on lap 63 of 200 laps, we're in stage two. And uh, right now, stage one was won by uh, Justin Algaier. So, and he continues to dominate one over over a second and a half on Cole Custard, as we're calling him Cole Custard today because of the Andy's Custard uh, sponsor on his car. Cole Custard. Those two would be interesting. Yeah, I think so as well, SM. Those two together would be pretty cool. So appreciate everybody hanging out here on a Saturday afternoon. It's been We've been together all morning. Uh, started at 9.15 Central this morning. And had a great practice and qualifying stream with uh, Kyle Larson getting the pole for tomorrow's uh, Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. That'll be on tomorrow around 1.30 Central for me. So make sure you set that. And the stream's not up yet. That will be up later on tonight. But I'll definitely have it up. But uh, coming back to the audio here in just a second. Here we go. Good in the neighborhood. You think the drivers are annoyed by us? So I found Carson Hosefar's big brother. You used to having a, a reporter come up to you and like have like legit questions, not like what kind of flavor of bubble gum do you like? I was asking you what was in your cup. It's actually a lot more fun and 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 very uh, just different. I don't, I don't think it's better for sure. The countdown is on. Drivers only. Drivers making only. Its return Charlotte weekend Memorial Day weekend. 12.30 Eastern Time right here on FS1. We have a big announcement. This is like a press release that should be interesting. on the air. Joey Logano is going to move into the play-by-play -play role this year. Yes, and I've known this for a few weeks, and as I've been up here, Adam, I've been just watching and, and, and listening on how you bring it back from commercial and, and you do all your, your stuff. Your part, you have the hardest job up here of all of us, by the way. So I've been paying attention and... Uh, I just try to do better than Kevin did up there in the last few years. I just, that's my goal. It's like, can I just be comparable to where Kevin is? I want you to ease into this. So why don't the two of you take the ball? I'll just sit over here, watch, and listen. A little drivers only from Texas. All right. Well, let's let's give this a shot, Ross, right here. Wait, again, Cole Custer. There you go, SM. These guys have been racing. Cole has been 
playing defense, Ross, since the beginning of this run, I think he knows if he loses his track position, look at the line of cars behind him. When everybody him. wanted Joey Logano to talk year, even more. A lot. With 21 laps to go, he needs to keep racing hard. He, and he is. Tommy Cole's King, what's up, bro? He runs his wheel a little different. Even if you just, just uh, He wrecked he in practice, Kelly. The, car, the spoke is straight up. He's got a, got a different seat position than I, than I like, than I see a lot of other drivers. He is driving this car, uh, and, and he's doing a good job. He's he's running second, uh, but he's got to keep this give JT another shot to, to work on at next pit stop here in uh, 20 laps. Regan, got an update on the seven? Well, Joey, the leader leader of Justin Algar right now, just told on the radio by his spotter, Eddie DeHaan, you have a little piece of debris on the grill. Keep an eye on the temperatures. The report uh -oh. from him back to the team is that the temperatures have been creeping up. They're plus 20 right you now. Rather was the engine tuner standing right next to his <laughs> Jim yes. Pullman. No concern yet. And also keep an eye on the 20 car of Brian Truex. He also has red numbers on the gauges right now. Some debris floating around on the track. Yeah, and you know, for Justin Algar as a leader, really hard to get that debris off. But he does have clean air, which cools the engine a little bit better. So it might actually be making more downforce for him, Ross, which he might actually Mentioned like. from Cole as Custard's as car looking back high. on Rally yeah, Herbs. And, and, you know, for their Hendrick engines. In fourth they, place. They have numbers. They know what plus 20 means. We None of us know what that means. But he does. Jim Pullman, a guy uh, that I've worked with, and super even keel. Uh, it's really um, it's really nice to have that calm voice as we go on board here with Rally Herbs. You see this throttle down the back stretch, 100%. Let's see how much he lifts. Full lifting into three, and he's just trying to stay half a car lower than his teammate. You know, whatever the double zero cars are doing handling wise, the 98 is going to be really similar. Absolutely, with teammates there. And, and what he's trying to do is just keep his left side out just a little bit. I always said when he drove these Xfinity cars, keep my left side headlight out. I can get just enough air to where I can stay close and try to pack air on the, the leading car, which in this case is a double zero, his teammate, to try to pull off that pass. Hey, Adam, right. are, you, are you okay to come back on with us? I, I am. I want to look here at Parker Kligerman on pit road. I always, I always tell people that my job is hard, and then you guys come in and make it look easy, and I'm embarrassed. Parker Kligerman, unscheduled pit stop. Thank you guys for the 100 likes. The top Thank 10. Thank you so much, guys. Right front issue for the 48. Brandon McReynolds on the roof there. Patrick Donahue on the box. Uh, tough break, loose wheel here. Um, he ran a long time, Joey. That's a long time from when they pitted to now. He obviously ran long. You hope he didn't do permanent damage to those studs. And that's where it's risk versus reward. The risk is that you do damage to the studs and you can't get the wheels tight the rest of the race because the studs are all boogered up, right? They, you know, they're not, I don't know a better way of explaining that, right? I've never but used that as a play Boogered play, up is right? how I'm going to say it today. You can't get the lug nuts tight after that. And with 15 laps to go, you're like, man, I just want to get to the end of the stage because you know a green flag cycle isn't going to happen to where you have a chance to make this up. Now he's going to be down a lap. And, you know, right now he's one lap down in 29th. The second car one lap down. So it's all about getting that lucky dog spot right now for Parker Kligerman. You know, and as we go on board here with A.J. Allmendinger, up 11 spots uh, to 15th. Um, this is going to put him... Within a, a, a give him a chance going into the stage. He can finally have a decent get, run. Get into this top 15, not any cars in front of him. Uh, coming back to 13 laps to go. Uh, you know, not not looking to drive into the top 10. I don't think that'll happen without a caution. But at least they've gotten past a bulk of the cars. Uh, and as we look at this 48 wheel, uh, we get a good look as our NASCAR official steps in front of us here. Hit that like button and subscribe, and y'all are trying see. to get the 150 uh, on the Parker lights couldn't now. See, doesn't matter. The driver ultimately has the, the final call, even if the pit crew says they think they're tight. Kligerman right now back to 28th, and uh, we talk about trying to get the free pass. He's right behind Balicki when it comes to getting into that position and getting back on the lead lap. 13 to go, stage two. All guy are leading Chandler Smith, Custer, Herbst, and Truex. We're live in Fort Worth, Texas on FS1. This is the place where I nearly love to be. All right. Play a little George Strait there, Butterfly in Dallas. They play a little George Strait going out to the break. But I uh, hope everybody's having a good time so far. Uh, looks like the tra leaders are getting into some lap traffic. My boy uh, not having a good day. Jesse Love in 14th. 
See if we can get back up there. He was my pick to win it. So in stage three, we're going to pick our decides of who's going to have it. But thank you guys for getting us to that 100 likes. I appreciate it. SM, thank you, 100 likes. So then a caution. They go to a break and a caution. We're under caution. Wonder what happened. We'll see what happened. We are under caution. Every time they go to a break, that's how it works. Yellow. Honeyman. You bet debris. We'll see what happens. I don't see them passing anything, so it's not a car wrecked anywhere. Uh oh, wait a minute. They're coming up on something. Oh, they get up on the pace car. Leland Honeyman spun, Brawny says. He wasn't having too good of a run, was he? Two laps down, Honeyman. Josh Baliki is going to get a lap back in that 92 car. Daniel Dye in 26th. SVG 23rd. Where's our girl Deegan at? She's in 16th. All right. Can't be weather. It's beautiful outside today. Yeah, it looks great. 77 degrees, a lot better than 100, right? So I bet they keep this race in the spring like they did last year or uh, from now on. Oh, we're going to go pit. Here comes Clustered. Justin Allgaier needs to be a little bit better into the corner. Every feels like the car is not in the track. That debris didn't talk to Al Geyer gets out first. Austin Hill. Instead, so Justin Hill, sorry. No, Austin Hill. I had it right the first time. Just loosen the turn. He tried to hold it the whole way, but hey, he didn't hit nothing, though. Thank you for subscribing, Earl Hammer. Appreciate it, Earl. So nine laps to go in stage two. It was a, before the caution came out, and I'm like, "What is he going to save it? Or are we going to stay green?" No, I have the wrong nine in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I, I had the wrong nine in there. That's my bad. Uh, good catch, though, T Van. Good catch. I had the wrong nine in there. I make mistakes too. I make mistakes too as they're uh, coming in here. And I forgot to put the audio back. They haven't updated the leaderboard yet. They will. I think that's it though. Austin Hill came in second. Cole Custer was out third. I think that's the updated leaderboard. Because on the camera, when you saw Custer came out, Tony says, uh, not where I have TV or radio. Weather is perfect. So I'm glad they're bringing this guys to you guys, the ones that can't watch the race or listen to the race. I'm glad you guys, some, some work while, uh, they're working, they're listening to us as well. That was always fun. Let me move this just a little bit. Hmm. But good to see everybody here. You're welcome, Eric. You are welcome very much so. 
You guys bring you coverage. You all flag the flag as we always do. So next Saturday is uh, Dega in the afternoon for Xfinity. And uh, Sunday is NASCAR. So we'll be bringing those two. No trucks next week. So just Saturday, I guess Saturday morning qualifying and afternoon race. So mid mid morning qualifying and practice for the uh, cup drivers and we'll do qualifying as well. And then we'll do the, oh, it updated again. Okay. And then we'll do the race right after that for Xfinity. And then Sunday we'll be doing you, the um, race. I'm not sure what the sponsor is, but we'll definitely be doing that next Sunday. And that's on Fox. So they brought Talladega race back to Fox, but we'll be back to Dover. And that'll be our last race of the uh, April. And then May starts. We're going to go on vacation first week of May. And then come back. We'll do some more. What place is Deegan in? Last time we looked, she was uh, 20th, but she's in 19th. She, she's being hidden. There she is. There she is. Well, there you go. Now you can see a little bit better. All right, here we go. Back at it. Our battle here in the Lone Star State. The pre race show kicks off at 2 Eastern, then the green flag flies at 3 30. So, 1 30 Central goes tomorrow. Down in Texas tomorrow. Haircut and a straight razor Live shave, nothing FS1. better. <laughs> Adam, I have a question. Yeah, I, mean, I know I'm new here, but I watch y'all. I, I watch. I, I, hey, I see you come us. Why, why am I not out ah. here with all my friends? I'm you know, forever. I'm gone. barely making the cut today, guys, but I'm there. <laughs> forever. Forever Blaney couldn't get up there. Maybe it's a beard thing. Do you think that's it, maybe? I don't know. Manny doesn't have a beard here. Melon Man brand. Okay, the flags are flying out here in the wind in Texas. A couple of things Thank to you, pay sir. off. You mentioned going to break. Josh Balicki, first car one lap down, gets All the right, free pass. All right, going back to green flag. Let's see if we can watch the start take here. The wave around, most notably Parker Kligerman. Let's see if we can so watch the start. is now back on the lead lap. And with these drivers pitting here prior to the end of the stage, we would anticipate at the end of stage two, they will all stay out we and make another pit stop till we get well into that final Here stage. Front row for the restart with six to go. Let's go racing, boys! Hill. We're rolling again at Texas. Well, it's a good side-by-side -side restart here. We've seen the inside lane really have control in the turn one. Austin Hill does a good job keeping it side-by-side. -side. Yeah, this is the cleanest air Austin Hill's had. If he can hang on this right rear, which looks like the seven car is going to get clear. Watch him go all the way around. This is the best Austin Hill has been to start the run track position-wise as he gets pushed by the 98 and clear in front of the double zero in the second. Teammates side by side for third. 98 is Herbs. Double zero oh, is Custer. Ryan Look Truex. at Truex. Oh, oh the Ryan Truex in the wall. He does slap the wall and he's going in the wrong direction. If there's a car in NASCAR that I want to hit the wall in, it is in the Xfinity car, but that was a solid hit as he's up out oh, of the group now. He's definitely got some problems now. Doesn't look like he likes what he feels here. Uh, unfortunate for that 20 team that has really performed at a high level lately. Last two weeks, top two, three stage wins. Eric Amarola got the win overall at Martinsville. Nemechek won in this car at Las Vegas. Here's what happened coming off of turn four. It just gets a, a little bit high. He gets high really and hit the wall. That edge and just jumped up into that there goes your gamble nice pick. Yeah, he hit the wall hard. And boom, in the defense. Yeah, there's a really big bump over there right in that area. Hard to tell here. Whoa, Sheldon Creed, oh, big Sheldon big Creed big goes moment. high. Yeah, teammate it's... Chandler Smith bails out, and uh, wow, I cannot believe they saved that. But you can Sheldon see Creed right got when, loose, when and Chandler Smith. The high side in turn two. You can see the dust behind his car. That's why it's so slick when you get up there. But these guys are racing with four laps to go in the stage. Everyone is ultra aggressive, pressuring them. And I'm not sure Chandler Smith even has his tires clean yet. No, no that, that looked really tight. You see Matt DiBenedetto there in the 38. Uh, gain on him through three and four as we take a look back into turn one. See Sheldon Creed down here in the bottom, the 18. Sammy Smith really close. Didn't touch him, but that put Chandler Smith in the worst spot of everybody. Sheldon Creed also losing spots. Now Chandler Smith's tires are dirty. He's fighting off Daniel Dye. What is it with the Gibbs cars today? You had Taylor Gray with a big save. Truex goes wide. Now Chandler Smith. They've been in the middle of the mess on multiple occasions today. You pop, pop Daniel Dye. He had the early problem, but he's come back to run inside the top 20. Two to go. Second stage. All Geyer. 1.3 seconds in front of the duo from Stuart Haas, Custer and Herbst. Brandon Jones up to fourth, and 
Hill has fallen back to fifth since the restart. Yeah, and we saw this out of Austin earlier. Not a lot of fire off speed, unfortunately. Was in third, back to fifth with Ryan Sieg now in position to pass him down here on the front stretch. Uh, not the fire off and not what you need on the final lap of stage two. Sieg goes by. Sammy Smith, maybe. Yes, there goes Sieg. Sammy Smith hanging out right behind him as well. That's a good run for Ryan Sieg. Obviously, a lot of speed in that car. Another today. rookie. To, you know, legit run up in the top five right now. Deegan's on the Justin move. Yep. And this is going to be the 11th time he's swept he's stages. He's in 16th. He went on to win two of good those run for her prior too. in his career. Allgaier today has led 16. No Deegan go, laps. Jimmy Third says. time he's pulled off the sweep here at Texas. Custer, Herbst, Jones, Ryan Sieg, the top five. Sammy Smith gets points in Congratulations, six. Hill, Justin Allgaier again. Seventh and eighth. Almendinger gets back to ninth, and Sam Mayer rounds out the top ten. Two stages down at Texas. All right, so we are at a stage two, and now we're in stage three. Stage three. Let me turn my caution off. All right. Going pretty fast here. Going pretty fast. Uh, we got uh, 110 laps to go. Finished 90. And hope everybody's doing well today. So, smiles and waves. What's going on? So welcome in everybody. Appreciate you being here. And uh, while we're in the middle of different, in the middle of the stages, I want to talk to you about our good friend at Travel Depot, Jennifer at Travel Depot. She uh, is our travel advisor, and she could be yours. If you want to go to the next race, you want to go to the race tomorrow. I'm sure she can put it together for you. If you want to go to a race next week, she can put it together for you. Uh, if you just want to not go to a race and go on vacation, she can put it together for you. So Jennifer at Travel Depot, uh, you're on a budget. She can take care of you that way as well. But she can make your vacation dreams come true. If you don't want to deal with a vac planning a vacation, she can do it for you. So make sure you check out Jennifer at Travel Depot. There's her phone number. There's her email. Make sure you tell her. CeeLo sent you. So there it is, Jennifer at Travel Depot. All right, one more like to 110. Keep hitting that like button, y'all. Keep hitting that subscribe as well. Thanks for all the subscribers today. If you guys want to become members as well, we have some members that like to have the emojis. We have all these emojis for the Xfinity race. And then, as you know, this morning, if you're with us, it changed because we had NASCAR Cup drivers as our emojis. And then uh, for the Braves game, I'll be changing them again. But no matter what we do, we have emojis for what we do for the streams. For you members, so, and then if you're a pro, it's a dollar ninety nine. Rookie is ninety nine cents to sign up for. Really cheap. It's good for a whole month, and it reoccurs just with your Google Pay or your whatever you ch use on your Google. If you do super chats or whatever, uh, and then also pro is you get all the emojis plus you get a special vlog that you get to see first before everybody else does, and then you have. Uh, MVP. MVP, you get both of those, which Rookie and Pro, and you get a special live stream once a week. We haven't done two weeks in a row. We can, we've been pretty busy, but we'll definitely get one in this week. So make sure you're hitting that like button for the stream. You're subscribing to the channel if you're new. Becoming a member if you'd like to help out the channel or send a super chat or a super sticker or just sit out here and hang out and watch. So let's get back to the race. Alexander, Justin Allgaier, two for two, winning those first two stages of the afternoon. Now we get to Yo, howdy. Our sweet on the go with CeeLo. What's up, Rebel X? Andy's frozen custard. We're still waiting on our own Andy's frozen custard up here, Adam. But if you look at this restart. Justin Allgaier controlling this race up to this point. Another flawless restart gets clear into the lead. He's done a solid 15 Deagle female that has talent to make it to the Cup Series. We ni yeah, need diversity, two, Craig. So. Going there. That's where it's at. We've seen him beat him Is on Jenny the, Nationwide. On uh, turn one, but that time she can be. Look at Coach dropped in the gifted memberships. She's Five gifted memberships. Tim Taylor, yes, Mr. Fonts, William Frederick, the Astros not a Kenny one. hugger, and well, Terry Cotter. And to get those seven, gifted memberships, you have to go into your Google and make sure you turn those on. Thank you so much, Coach, for five stop, gifted memberships here on the, the channel. So Thank you so much, Coach. And studying everything. Crew Chief Jim Pullman has been staring at a computer screen since he said that, trying to figure out what might be going on. Do a little dance. Josh, when you're the leader, Joey, you hear things, you feel things. 
you Thank hope you, they're sir. not real, but you got to talk about them. You got to have your team check the tape. And, and what they're they're looking at is that on these on these air guns, there's a little bit of there's a stripe that they can slow it down and they can see if that socket is ratcheting and getting those lug nuts tight. If the driver feels like there's a loose wheel, that's the first thing they go back to see. And is the wheel actually we'll tight? Right, Herb's car call. for the start on this one. Got some 81 radio here. Whatever that was, was garbage. Cause now my front end definitely don't work. Both in the corner, <laughs> and now the thing just plows like a damn dump truck. So you running? Yeah, we, we saw that. Obviously, the big moment with his teammate Sheldon Creed. But even after that, we saw we saw Chandler further back in the pack. And actually, other cars, he's been stronger than Keep all day. that like year. button as well, uh, y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. Um, here's we see Justin Allgaier trying to decide he's going to stay out. Here's the right? pick he's to win, y'all. That's oh, right. Stage three. Speed. Here's where he's you guys decide if enough. you're going to change it's your mind on who's going to win. Do you change your mind here in stage three? But Who are you picking? Stay out here because they elected to flip the I'm going to go with Jesse Love. He's right in eighth spot. Ended with I think he's still going to do it. Jeb Burton running. I'm going Jesse Love. Stage, just out of stage points, you wonder what this is about. That's uh, probably not according to, to Shane's plan as crew chief. Yeah, Chandler Smith also going to make a stop here. Oh, Custard. <laughs> I like how you did that, Jamie, with the D. You had two sets Creed. of tires to Sheldon manage. Creed, SM's going Sheldon the Creed. Final stage. You put a set on here. Who are you going with? Couldn't make it I think it'll be Algar today. He's going to dominate the, the whole race. Green flag run and everything falls just Ronnie right. says drivers. the 21. Could Troy's going to Austin Hill. Later on. Justin Allgaier Richard's going to gamble on the, on the 7. 65 of 94 laps here this afternoon. All right, so stage three beginning here with 106 to go. Alfredo will bring the sauce. There you go. Anthony Alfredo down in 15th. You'll pick after the pits, Craig says. Okay. All right. So we're going to ride along with, uh, we've seen Cole Custard pit. We've seen, uh, who else we've seen pit, but we haven't seen Riley Herbst pit yet. I don't think we have. So let's bring in the in-car camera for the pit stops as we'll be covering those here. So there is Riley Herbst running in. Third place, looking at Cole Custard. Justin Allgaier up there as well. But thank you guys so much. Thank you, Coach, for the gifted memberships. Appreciate all the subscribers today. Thank you all the likes. It's been a good Saturday so far. Coming up right after this, we're going to do Atlanta Braves baseball. If you haven't seen how we do Braves baseball or baseball in general, you got to check out our stream. It's 3D. You're never going to see that anywhere else. Oh, you actually will see that one other place, and that's our good friend, Clan HBS. He's the one that turned me on to it. Thank him for all the glory on finding it. I said He helped me get it set up. I set it up all myself. He told me where to get it, and it is the new age of streaming baseball until MLB says, no, you can't do that anymore. But right now we're going to do it, so uh, make sure you check that out, one of our Brave streams. It is amazing to watch, so... I'm going with old double not zero double zero Custer the Duster. All right, so pits gonna pit stops coming up here, and then you guys can pick who you think's gonna win. Uh, Algier, I thought Algier from the beginning. See no reason to change it now. Rick says okay. Randy says the nine or the seven. Okay, Brandon Jones or the seven of Algier. Hello, Craig. What's going on? Appreciate you being here. So we'll see what happens. I got my like in. Thank you, Rebel X. Appreciate that. So I think pit stops are coming up right now. Doo -doo. Pit stop, pit road open. Are we going in? Let's see here. And. Nope, we ain't going in. Not this round, we ain't. Final stage here in Texas. Here are those that brought on the stage points today. All guys with a sweet gets 20. Good day for Herbs and his teammate Cole Custer. Look at Chandler Smith. He gets nine. Okay, so this is not live here. One second. We're going to refresh here. Because they're together. We'll refresh. That 81 contact doesn't look like much, but the left front headlight on the 81 does get pushed in 
Chandler doesn't know it. He just thinks he's really, really tight. They come down pit road. Keeps the crew's able to see it. Now we got a we got a bear bomb dug. Joey, do you wish you could get that headlight? Oh, let me bring the audio back. Sorry, y'all. Oh, like must to be too so. weak. Must be too hard to do it. Joey was actually telling them to do it under I commercial. Think you think you're <laughs> hammer to that thing and pop it back the other way. I, I don't think it's that simple to uh, pop a dent right back out of this thing. But, All right, we go. Uh, at least they found something wrong with it. I have the opportunity to fix it. I, I don't know if they fixed it as good as they wanted to, but we got some 7 radio here. All I want to say is this, huh? Appreciate all the effort here. This thing is, uh, this thing's awesome, man. Uh, you know, whether we win the race or not, it doesn't matter. Appreciate the effort and putting this thing together. Man, it's, it's a beautiful race car, man. The corn Here car. It is beautiful. Hey, Grant has been around. We've talked about this earlier forever, so we appreciate their support of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Front row, two veterans that we made the favorites for this race yesterday. Justin Allgaier, Cole Custer. What a jump by Justin So the camera's Allgaier. a little ahead of time. Uh, Riley Herbst following Going through. against the grain and See, saying uh, Sheldon Ryan Creed Sudafin gets his first win. Langer back up to ninth for this restart, Joey. Yeah, Justin, look at, look at him. Gone. We talked about these restarts, how that car just fires off through one and two. That thing is lights guy out. Allgaier gone. He just builds himself separation to where he can control the race from there. My gosh. That makes me nervous. Austin Hill sliding up in front of Sieg. Got Sammy Smith out there in the eight. Brandon Jones having a great day in fourth. Look at wow. Austin Hill hanging on. Looked like some Thank you, Rev Thank you, Clipped the grass there. Sammy Smith, the only one up you there. You never the know, SM Chad says. Has left Ernest damage. Perry, what's going on? Dropping that 18. On the three or four. Whole left front fender gone off that car. Now guy are gone, Hardy. man. Hang on to it. Uh -oh. Honeyman Jr. again with a big Honeyman slide. Honeyman almost it this lost it again. He just got the free pass, got back on the lead lap and going for a wild ride again. 100 laps to Another go here. sweet move, I guess. Uh, depends on what seat you're setting in. I like my seat a lot better right now, Joey. <laughs> it looks uh, slick. Yeah, that's one thing about sweet saves is you got to make a mistake first <laughs> to have a save. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to be on the highlight reel. Austin oh, Hill. there's a big loose moment there for the 21. You know, Junior Austin Motors Hill didn't have a top loose. five before last week. They put three in the top five, four in the top seven, and the JRM Chevy's delivering again today. Tiger's going to win the Masters. All four. Seventh or better, Justin Allgaier is leading this thing. Let's go down to Josh. Yeah, let's get an update on the nine of Brandon Jones. Having a strong run today, and this team needs that. Had two rough races in a row. The biggest complaint for Brandon Jones saying the car fired off a little bit too tight, but keep an eye on how the nine Those handles nines. this stage. <laughs> Crew Chief Philip Bell told Brandon that the fuel window for this one... Creed hasn't won a race. I, don't, I didn't know that. Allgaier will cold trickle the tires. That's right. Is. When I talked to him it's a special today, set of stick tires, plan. coach. It's not what the <laughs> With a spin on turn four. Uh oh, Jeff spin Burton on turn four. The it's the 27. Everybody's trying to get by. He was running 11th when the stage ended, didn't like his race car, so they made a pit stop, gave up the track position, Jeff and Burton. now he brings out our fifth Too bad we weren't uh, watching day. that when he Gosh, spun. Yeah, you, you hate that. Right to his pit stall. Big quiet? damage for Shane Whitbeck and his guys no. to try to fix here for Jordan Anderson Racing. And he was running 19th there, and, and obviously that car is hurt really yeah. bad. This racing, it, it just seems like this race has gotten more and more intense as it's going on around here, especially on these restarts. Cars are getting loose a lot. Here we what see the 27 of see. Jeff Burton off of turn four. Kind of right it's where off those of turn four got loose. Breaks loose, tags it with the right rear. Jeff Burton rubbing's race. Yeah, That's right, cars Josh. It's a very sensitive spot. It is. And, you know, man, he, buddy. he pitted. He, he, I, I, we didn't hear his radio, but he was probably talking with Shane and saying, I, I want to work. Uh, I want to work on this car. I'll get you back up there, man. As we see him through three and four here on board the state water heaters. Let's listen. Those bumps. You heard the bottom out. You heard the side skirt hit. Yeah, I mean, hit hard this enough. This is right Jeff Burton's car right loose. here. It was so solid. His hands were so steady until the bump. Right there, it just kind of starts coming around on him. And now, obviously, pretty bad uh, air situation as well, right? Two cars side I think going like to the grass hurt it the most. Kind of a tough spot as you come off of turn four. The wind okay, after you put it in stage today, three, you pick the 98. All, all right, Craig, got to, it. To mention that, the, the wind can get a gust and off you go. It's been a tough season. Cautions bring cautions, you're right. The 27 group. But next week, we go to Talladega. 
where he will Talladega. be the defending race winner. So maybe that'll breathe a little confidence into the group. Under caution at Texas. It's Dega, baby. Next week. All righty. Hope everybody's having fun. Sorry, I kept rooting for underdogs. I just rooting for the underdog or not well-recognized drivers. That's okay. Weatherman forecast and Alfredo win. We'll see. We'll see. Fifth, twelfth spot. We'll see. Keep hitting that like button, y'all. Trying to get to 150 on the likes. And we are at 118. Let's see if we can get to 150 on the likes today. Kind of both streams, kind of a low, low attendance, but it is earlier in the day. It's a nice Saturday, mostly across the country. So a lot of people are out and about doing their thing. A lot of people on spring break. But we uh, appreciate you guys hanging out here with us. Coming up tomorrow, we'll be doing the uh, Echo Park 400 Automotive Auto Trader Automotive or, no Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 right here on this channel at 1:30 or so. Let's take a look at Jeb Burton here as they're trying to fix something here. There we go. Trying to fix that back end where he hit the wall. As they're going working on his car. Great camera work, too, by the cameraman, I will add. Camera right there looking at him. There's nothing more powerful than Rip it off. There he goes. Gotta go. Cars are coming. Gotta lead, lead cars are coming. You can't you can't a win in the pits. That's right. Now I'm going to be calling Custer. <laughs> Ken Kowalski, what's going on? Custard from now on. That's right. Cole Custard. His name is Cole Custard tonight. You saw the screen, Case says. You saw it. Eight for the win, Jenny. Jimmy says. Sammy Smith for the win. He's back in fifth spot. Brandon Jones having a great day in fourth. Ryan Sieg also. In sixth, gonna good run. Sam Meyer in seventh, and the Dinger in eighth place. Oh, you got your milkshake. I don't. It's a push on her. Does this help? I honestly think that Bert needs to have a better team. I don't think Anderson Racing is getting any better. All right, audio coming back here. NASCAR Xfinity Series racing at Texas Motor Speedway. Double it's the Andes Frozen Custard 300. Justin Allgaier leads second and third teammates from Stuart Haas Racing, Riley Herbst and Cole Custer. And you look at the season for this duo, and it's quite interesting because they bounced around. Of course, Custer, the reigning champion. And I looked the other day. If you look at his performance through seven races this year compared to last year, it's pretty far ahead this season in comparison to 2023. Herbst off to a great start, got bounced around a little bit. You see some of the inconsistency, but today it's been a nice comeback for that group. Yeah, both those cars seem to be pretty solid, and they're solid every week, right? Those two, two Stuart Haas cars, they run comparable to each other, uh, and it seems like, you know, Cole, with the experience that he has, he's able to really maximize his runs, and I think that's what Cole's doing today. He doesn't have the fastest car. He's done a great job at maintaining track position by having good restarts, playing good defense, and doing the details great on pit road. And A. Ford is winless this year. Let's get a quick update from pit road. Uh, Austin Hill came in, Josh. Yeah, and Austin Hill came in because the adjustments they made last time, he said, made that car much, much worse. Just the handling in that car was not where they needed to be. So when they came in, they made an air pressure, a chassis adjustment. So pitting out of strategy, but a car was just struggling for Austin Hill. And they should have one set of tires left for later in the race, but everyone All right, right let's now go. outside Green the fuel flag window, time. See Stage three. Four drivers come down the pit lane. I say outside the fuel window. I 95 mean, laps to go. to go the rest of the way. Pull those belts tight one race, last Adam. time. Yeah. We're coming back to let's 94 go. laps to go. Uh, and you see that with this seven car out front, three and a half tenths faster than these two SHR cars right behind him for fast lap. That seven is so fast. He ran as fast as last to the couple of them did on that last restart. Uh, yeah, it's, 
once they had a restart like this, if I'm Cole Custer, I'm just trying to break the plane of that bumper so he doesn't get down to the bottom. <laughs> as soon as that seven gets to the bottom, he seems to go through one and two so fast. But another great restart once again. I would expect the same thing in one and two. Ryan Sieg restarting six there, continuing to fight with these guys as he gets outside of Sammy Smith and Justin Allgaier away with the lead again like we've seen every time. Well, Brandon Jones was going to drive it right down the middle of the teammates from Stuart Haas. Instead, he tucks in line behind Cole Custer. He wanted to. <laughs> he, he thought about it, didn't he? get in there. See Brandon Jones Mute trying to break DW. up his SHR party in <laughs> second and third. Has position on the inside. We don't know if the top's quite there yet. A.J. Allmendinger, aggressive, bottom of three. How about a little two for one for A.J. Allmendinger? Crossover inside. He jumps up inside the top five. Great heads up driving by Sammy Smith and Nate and Ryan Sieg in the 39. To see that A.J. made the move, now it's up to them. To, he gave them a choice. A.J. gave those two cars a choice. Do you crash or do you let me buy? I have the speed and I have the position. Ooh, Both look choices. at him. He hit Not Brandon really Jones. Good. You see that? <laughs> but that is the position he put him in. And turn one does that, right? The, the entry, the way you – there's so much space into the corner that there's runs that build all the way down the front straightaway. No. There's the opportunity to dive bomb it in there. You, you don't make many friends doing it, but no one's here to make friends. What? These guys love to be friends, Joey. Um, Why don't, you don't like to be friends with people? I like people. I don't like to be friends with people. You know what I've I learned like up to be here? Friends. That's how I like I've people. learned up here, Ross, that Joey has a small circle, you know? Mine's yeah. half a square. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Great battle for third. Jones and Herbs just going back and forth. AJ Allmendinger rolling the top there on the 39. Clear into 50. You know, Joey, earlier we questioned. AJ was about 16th, 15th place. He pitted with all the leaders. We were like, why don't you flip the stage? Restart up front for the short run to the end of stage two. Get some stage points. You're not, you're within a couple of the back of the lead lap. He doesn't do what we think to do running fifth now. Seems to work out. Maybe they're smarter than us, Ross. I just drive the car. <laughs> I push the pedals and turn the wheel. It is a great recovery, though, for the 16 AJ Albendinger. Remember, he missed his pit stall earlier in the race. And has been fighting and scratching and clawing all the way back up into the top five. That's something to be proud of. And I think he's got his car dialed into where he can legit get up into the top two. I don't know if he's got anything for the seven. But once you get up there, you never know. You know, it's funny you think of AJ as a road racer, and rightfully so, because he's so good at it, right? However... Two of his 17 career wins have come on mile-and-a-half tracks. He won at Atlanta before we made it a drafting track. Also won a couple of years ago at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And speaking of Las Vegas, that's where Ryan Sieg was so good earlier this year. And he's turned it up again this afternoon. You go outside the top Custard. 10. And Chasing down now, now guy. Stop. We're starting it's to make a push be a the field. I'll see him plus chase. I'll see him catch him. Can Klingerman you see him laying in the, the distance? Plus seven. Taylor Gray came down pit road. He's plus five. But I mean, that's that's the penalty he took, right? Austin Hill still back in 18th, trying to pass Ryan Truex for 17th right now. That tire advantage he has isn't going to be enough to get all the way back up to the front, but he's able to to try to you know work on his car some, which is Al Guy running the handling of a second, almost a, a second a advantage, enough almost to, a half to maybe a second get some faster of that back and have one set of Cole tires Custer. left for the rest of this race. You go just outside the top ten, and Anthony Alfredo, good yesterday in practice, backed it up in qualifying, and here he is running right where he needs to, looking for another top 12, 15 finish, and you know he came into the day. In the plus column, when it comes to making the playoffs, and, and so that's exactly what this team needs to do. And Kligerman, although they've not finished unbelievable every week, they too have been able to collect a lot of points playing the game in stages, and he's 12th right now. Yeah, you see, you see Anthony let the 48 go. He knows that's not his fight right now. And as we go back to 13, Parker, Parker Retzloff, a guy that continues to show speed, matches his older teammate Jeb Burton I can call him older because I'm similar in age but Parker continues to match the speed 
no, no power steering. Going in and out in practice yesterday. Parker's a guy like me, small guy. We can't drive these cars without power steering. You see it wiggling through three and four loose. If that thing doesn't have power steering, he can't drive it. Uh, just behind him, Kyle C, family team. You know, he's got it's an older the custard Ryan, race. That's obviously right. Obviously, well established in this series, running seventh right now. Kyle continuing to learn. You know that he's soaking up all he can from Ryan and what that team has built. I know their uh, their old crew chief, Cowboys, off in the mountains, proud of the brothers. Another good day for Josh Williams, top 15, Joey. Absolutely. Josh Williams, you know, when he jumped into his college car, I think this is what we've I think it's funny everybody says custard is, today. Is this I think everybody's saying custard. A, What's up, D? What's going car, on, buddy? A great opportunity that he's earned over many, many years here in the Xfinity Series. And, you know, it still takes time to learn that team. It takes time to, to, to you know, adapt to not only the car but the people and how to race in a faster car. That changes a lot of things. And you see throughout the first few weeks, he had some issues. Now, the last two races, starting to, to peek into that top 10 a little more often. And like I mentioned earlier, guys, Josh, the kid that I grew up racing with, we're similar in age. Uh, his dad, Kevin, actually rented the track from the airport down in Punta Gorda, Florida, that we raced at. They had the they had the rental to it, and we all raced there. They let me drive their legend car one time. I beat Josh. He was so mad at his dad <laughs> for letting me drive one of their cars, and I won the race. My only legends car race ever. I beat Josh by a nose. Great race. He wasn't happy. I was, but in the pro trucks, the fast kid division, we did a lot of racing, a lot of wrecking. I'll be honest. Uh, I, I still owe him one, and he knows it. <laughs> and I'm going to catch that thing one day, not in a track like Texas. So. What a memory. <laughs> Just over 80 laps to go. Let's talk strategy in the final stage with a seven. Oh, awesome. Glad to sit in now. Hey, get to hang out a little bit, D. And get a gap for a green flag stop or a main tire for a long run. I'm not managing right now, but I can do either one. Eddie, let's go for gap management, about 50% gap management. He's not working hard enough. No, 50% gap management. I don't even know. I've never heard those words before. <laughs> uh, so kind of manage it, but kind of don't, I guess, is what that means. Um, that just shows that the seven of Justin Elgeyer is a hoss today. That thing is, is a real thing. Regan, what's up with the eight? Adam, give a little bit of credit to Sammy Smith and crew chief Adam Wall. Early on in that race, not happy with the car and what he was dealing with. Needed security all over the racetrack, both ends of the track in and off. Well, they've gotten him fixed up to where he's now inside the top ten. Right now, the car's not too bad, just a little bit tight on exit. Likes the entry, though. And this is a place where he feels good. Sammy Smith, third here last fall in his only start in an Xfinity car at Texas Motor Speedway. 80 laps to go. Allgaier leading Jones, Herbs, Custer, and Almondinger. The fans, they're having a good time in Fort Worth. Thank you so much for that. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming in. We're at almost at 150 likes. We're trying to get to 150. We're at 130. And we're trying to get to 11,525 on the subscribe. So make sure you do that. Uh, we're back now. We're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're good now. We're good now. <clears throat> What's up, clan? Thank you for much. Uh, yeah, we're good now. Thank you for letting me know. I muted it while I was eating. But uh, we're doing the Atlanta Braves coming up right after this, guys. Make sure you're hanging out with us. Uh, we're going to do some Atlanta Braves baseball to kick off our baseball week tonight. And then uh, we're doing baseball Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Baseball. So lots of uh, Atlanta Braves baseball to come. We took the last week off because I had some family in town and just really busy and able to do it. So... Uh, but definitely bringing it to you guys this week. So look forward to some Atlanta Braves baseball as they cover play the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. And they're at Miami today. So we'll be doing that right after this. Where did Brandon Jones come from? Thank you so much for the subscribe. Jared, thank you so much. Brandon Jones, he's been in the top 10 all day. 
but now moved into second place in that nine Chevrolet. Justin Allgaier still blowing everybody away. Uh, no catching him. Custard now trying, getting passed by Sam Mayer and Al- Almondinger. So Custard's going to drop back here uh, as I just see him on the on the video here. I think Jones and Herps are drafting each other. Allgaier saving fuel and tires. Yeah. And he's still blowing everybody away. Which is nuts. Here you go, back to it. Grandfather clock this afternoon in Texas. Diggers in fourth. Yeah, he made a big move. And in line to go out and get his first. Justin Allgaier. Man, has he been strong today? Swept the first two stages of the Let's afternoon. Let's go check out Almondinger. Our lap leader, sponsored by Andy's Frozen Custard. He is top of the board, leading almost half the race already. I mean, he's led 97 of 126. He hits 100. He's led half the race, and we got a lot of racing to do here today. Chandler Smith on the board as well after starting up front earlier this afternoon. Had some uh, had some young young faces on that on that uh, promo there. And a, a younger Jesse Kevin Love in 10th. It here, does look like he's going to win today. I'm with, with my headset. My I thought for sure. Lightly taped over lightly. Maybe he so can finish with the top say, five. I will I'll try to keep your, your uh, area here clean for tomorrow. A good battle here. The 18. Here to get is Almondinger. The 8 of Sammy Smith makes him Trying nice. to catch Ooh, rally herbs looks, made it look easy i know it wasn't easy but it made it look easy you know brandon jones had a great rally there got around both those cars from stewart haas was up to second but riley herbst showing what he's got on the long haul flashes back by to the runner-up spot and we yeah. see these guys even with brandon jones in commercial we were talking joey he he had it down to 1.7 now herbst has actually passed him within a second and a quarter of Algar, but we heard Jim Pullman talking about 50% gap management. We don't know what that exactly means, but these guys are gaining on him, and if they are thinking about a green flag stop, Justin wants the biggest lead he can have. He doesn't want to burn his tires up doing it, but he doesn't want it to go now within a second. That's not what Justin wants. I feel like that's a little closer than he would like to be as they kind of work through traffic, but you know, there's 98 of Riley Herbst looking pretty strong at the moment. able Pretty to, good. To move I don't know if anybody's going to be able to challenge Allgaier, though, oh, but Herbs is now turn two under a second. Jesse Love. You, you see this guy. He's on the hammer. He's he's qualifying on the pole. He's getting his RPM shifts done, uh, up shifts and qualifying. But then when you come to the race, all this is new, like we talked about earlier. He's He's been racing some ARCA cars. He's done dirt racing, but never these mile and a half and these NASCAR Xfinity Series. Oh, he's seen a lot of these tracks for the first time, working with his crew for the first time. You see those 98s in the chat, An y'all. Alliance if you're a Herbs RCR fan, you want him to racing. catch Allgaier. Uh, and Scott Borchetta. You see those 98s. He races himself, but he lets his team do their thing, uh, and they're you fighting for both videos. for a top 10. You know, we talked about Jesse Love earlier in the race, too. He was starting on the pole. We said in practice, he Make sure you join our Discord. Exactly Butterfly just dropped that in the link. If you'd like to join our Discord, make sure you go over there and join our Discord as well. That and he's doing a great job because he learned his lesson early in the race. Oh my gosh, my car doesn't drive very good, it's way too loose. Make some adjustments. That's what the team wants to see is when you make adjustments and the car gets better. And that's what Jesse Love's been able to do. That's getting beat he's today. Survive through the first run, make some adjustments, get the car faster, and start scratching and crawling his way through the through the field. When he comes to these racetracks the second time, the third, fourth time. He's going to have an idea of what he needs, and he won't have to go through that first part of the race that where he struggles a little bit trying to figure out the balance. Yeah, we saw there Riley Herbst, Justin Allgaier lapping by uh, Garrett Smithley there going a second lap down on the six-car trophy tractor. A longtime sponsor of his and other drivers, Stefan Parsons, Friday night, got their first top ten. For a sponsor, a Texas-based company, Jeff Miller and his, his group that – has been in this sport for years. Getting their first top 10 with that 75 truck last night was uh, was a big deal. It was cool for them, uh, cool to watch, cool to see that progression of Stefan behind the wheel as well. I t- I'm impressed with Ross being able to know. What's up, Brownie? What's going stuff. on, dude? <laughs> hey, <laughs> here's a guy that is very 67 impressive. To He's go. knocked on a lot of doors in the garage, he has, hasn't he? He knows everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about building relationships. Hey, it was a sad week for everyone in the NASCAR community. 
Bob Labonte passed away. Won two championships oh, in the NASCAR he, I thought he said Series Bobby. as an owner, the father to both Bobby and Terry in the NASCAR Hall Bob of Fame. Bob Labonte. Our condolences to the entire Labonte family. Bob Labonte. He said, I thought he said Bobby Labonte. I was like, oh, crap. But uh, Bob Labonte, man, that sucks. Prayers to the Labonte family. But uh, we are still in stage three. We are 134 laps of 200. All under, less than 70 to go. Where's Haley Deegan? One second. Let me get that for you. Deegan was in the top 20. What happened to her? She's now back in 23rd. She creeped her way all the way up to 15th before those pit stops, but uh, Deegan's there in 23rd now. Hey, look at SVG in the top 20. Chandler Smith having a bad day. Uh, not bad. I mean, he's in the top 25, but look at Matt Benedetto up there in 26th. Daniel Dye on the lead lap and Ryan Ellis. Patrick Emberling is the first car lap down. And then here's the rest of your lead lap cars. Jeb Burton having issues as well after that spin and hit the wall. But there is your top. There. <clears throat> yeah, that Bob got me too. I was like, what? <laughs> Who's going to watch some uh, XFL or whatever the hell it's called? UFL. UFL. That's right. UFL. Who's going to be watching some UFL? Uh, I got your man that you need to watch. His name is uh, Rising Rhino. He's going to be bring a lot of UFL games to you guys. Debut. Make sure you check out my man, Rising Rhino. I mean, he's good good up here today, but you're really good at this. That it, the, the watermelons have never tasted sweeter, Adam. I, I was actually worried the first time I ever did it, 2018 at Las Vegas. I'm worried for what my granddaddy was going to say, if he was going to be mad that I wasted one. But seeing as yesterday was the first day of harvest for my dad and brother, for Chad and my dad, Ralph, for JDI Farms, we got our first watermelons out of the field into the school bus at other people's local grocery stores. It's time to talk about the watermelons. Sorry, y'all. Oh, my God. Now, my son, Hudson, he goes, did you see what Ross did? He's now we get a watermelon. Guess he I'll fix that later. Watermelons all the time. <laughs> Not, no. It doesn't really work like Sorry that. Sorry about that. In the middle of the grocery store, right? <laughs> look, look at this. Aaron Marks, the boss, weighing in today. Yeah, I went track house blue with the suit. Even had the, the track house lapel pin logo made. That uh, didn't tell anybody I was doing I that. I UFL, UFL from the L over the Braves at, uh, for sure, season finger but, uh, says. I uh, hope that Justin and Aaron Here comes like, number 98. Uh, like what That's a football league with the Rock I'm having a blast up here. Uh, my amigo, Daniel Suarez, has told me that you get a totally 61 to go. I will say that it is. Look, I have my tablet up here with SMT. I'm poking through some laps, looking at some lap times. Uh, I'm looking out the window. Okay, I don't always do it exactly how you're supposed to, as uh, you elder statesmen do it a little more professional, but uh, I'm elder learning as I go. Thank you for the elder statement. Uh, thing. That, that's awesome. Did I booger that up? Uh, anyway, speaking of boogering up the lead, right now is Riley Herbst's <laughs> reeled in Justin Algar. Justin, he has. Is so Let's go there. About his car and talking about how hard. Let's go I push there right it. now. Push now because green flag stops are just right around the corner. Riley Herbs is right there. Don't look too far back. Is Brandon Jones in the nine and his they have his teammate it all up. His teammate Joey Sammy Smith, first one to pit road, first one to blink. As as Custard. Adam Wall calls Sammy and he's down the way from his stall. Now we've got Cole Custard on pit road. Josh, here he comes. And for Cole Custer, it's been the same problem all day long. He gets tight on the long run. He said, I can't be as confident as I would like to be. So on this stop, they're going to try and help him out. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate it. Needs to be Welcome in. Is your schedule? Green flag pit stops. You, you come down here, get your service. It's been right around 60 laps since they last came down there prior to the end of stage two. Guys, this race could be decided on this pit cycle, Joey. These top three leaders are all right together. Close enough. If one beats the other one to pit road, gets on and off pit road with those Looks like Algar is coming in. Right now, if is I'm he coming in? Those, bring me in. <laughs> yep, here right we go. Now. Let's see this. Short pit that seven Perfect Justin timing Algar here. Try to jump up in front of him. I think the seven. They're pitting. They're all three here they coming. Come. Brandon Jones. No one got to jump them. Jesse Love making his stop. And the top three in as well. Algar, Herbst, and Jones, Regan. 
That's right, the leaders all coming to pit road right now. The seven car of Justin Allgaier said a few laps ago he just got too free past where it lands, so he needs a little help with that in the 98 of, of uh, Riley Herbst in second place. Riley Herbst a little oh, bit too tight got out. right front. Josh? And for the nine of Brandon Jones, it's been a strong run for him so far today. His biggest problem, he needs to be better center exit of two. Allgaier got out first. Deal for the nine of Brandon Jones. 17 holding serve here as we see Brandon Jones down the end of pit road, but the seven car going to be clear and free off pit road as long as no speeding keeps the lead. AJ Allmendinger also making a pit stop. He was inside the top five. So when all this cycles through, green flag pit stop, that should right. be the battle for the top spot. And as you said, Ross, Justin Allgaier holding serve in that cycle of green flag pit stops. But many others going to run this a little longer, including Sheldon Creed, who has taken over the top spot with 56 to go. And I like this strategy. So here's what they're thinking here. They're saying, OK, the fastest way on paper to run this 100 lap span is to split it right in the center. Now, the leaders, they decided to short pit it because they didn't want to get jumped and lose track position because it's very hard to pass cars, right? It's slower to pass cars. But by Sheldon Creed staying out here, he's going to have five to seven lap newer tires than everybody. That may be enough to be able to pass those cars back and be able to maybe net out a few spots if it runs green the rest of the race. Yeah, and when I'm in this scenario... If, I, if we're going to do it, I don't want to do it. I want to go long. I don't want five or seven laps. I've been, I've been that, I've been behind the wheel of that 18 as we. Uh, Steven, he, he pit. He pit. One second, y'all. One second. Audio come back here in just a second. Let me refresh. One second. We'll bring the audio back in here in just a second, y'all. football league. Okay. I don't need more. Can you hear that? Are you done? No. I just didn't want more. We see Austin we're Hill. Find out here in a yeah, second. it won't be long. Uh, we see Austin Hill leading through three and four as we were watching that. Uh, really high in three and four. You know, you don't know if, if he was intending to be that high uh, as he was. He's really pushing the limit. Uh, we'll see this time. That's, that's up there. Up there. That is aggressive, uh, but obviously experienced guy knows what he needs to do to make lap time. Now it's all about this. This is all that this is about. Make lap time, minimize the, the time loss as these other leaders are going to be coming by him uh, and, and getting, you know, whether they're getting back in the lead lap, uh, as we see, you know, Riley Herbst, Cole Custer next up. Justin Allgaier has already done that. Caution comes out now. He's, he's free and clear. Uh, these other guys are, are just trying to get to that 21 as quick as they can. Top eight cars in our pylon will have to make a pit stop. And here you see well, Chandler Smith is gone He's going to get the money. Custer and Almondinger trying to do the, the same, trying to get themselves but back on the lead lap. So should a caution come out, pit and he's coming a from the back of the pack. As we've hit 51 laps Chandler to go. Smith hasn't pit yet. But I like this. Yeah, for the 21 car, that's he's putting on his last set of tires. That's another piece that he has to think about. So he's more incentivized to stay out because if the caution comes out with 20 to go, he's got no tires left anyway. So he may run long and try to trap some cars down a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's fine. To, we got it, know, Rowdy Bush, right caution. here. You're not going to have to miss anything. There was a penalty for Sheldon Creed. On we get the it all. So they won't have to worry about missing penalty. anything. Unfortunate for them because they'd spent a good portion of this final stage, early part of the final stage, inside the top 10. Austin uh, he made the Ryan top. His second. He didn't make the top 10. Is third Chandler Smith, Kyle Weatherman, Leland Honeyman, Matt De Benedetto, the top seven, all going to have to make a pit stop. But right now they've put themselves in a decent spot. Should we get a caution? And, and you go back as this cycle continues to cycle. That job by the seven team, Justin Algar, getting on and off pit road, distance him, so, yeah, himself it's, uh, from uh, Algar is just, from those, those guys that had chased him down man. by raw speed. He did not want that gap to get that close. See, Algar to go, is at 26 when that seconds. Pressure was on, that Jim Pullman led Herbs team is at did the three, work. Justin three seconds ahead of him. On and off pit road, clearly, uh, really, three really seconds. good. Three uh, seconds. Together with the pit so Algar is going to have a three with, second uh, lead when this all the pit stop uh, is what that's it. When they got on, comes back together, right with each other. The pit stop seems very fast. Well, you look at the comparison, and we'll put it in here for you. 
But as you guys talk about, there's so much that goes into it. Keep hitting that like button, y'all. Trying to get to 150. We're almost there. Was able to execute and win the battle, and the green flag stopped by two seconds. Yeah, so get that get that pin out here. I got you. So here you see the totals. <laughs> but the difference here is the crew time. The pit crew, they were able to make up most yeah, of the time. Yeah, got out 14 and a chunk, half, and, and Herbst was 15-9. For a second. Let me get out here, work through some of the traffic, and look at the difference that makes on the racetrack. You may say, boy, what's a second and a half? I mean, that can't be that long. Well, when you're going 100 miles an Look at our screen hour, right here. A second and a half is a lot of distance on the racetrack in control of the race. You think he's back to that 50% gap management? I, I think he, he may go a little harder Look this Look at right here. <laughs> <laughs> we see him go by 14. Haley Deegan, that 15. AM Racing, Tim Self, right a here, guy. Right here, compared uh, I race to with here's the three-second difference. Uh, we've done 14, some, uh, five, he's 15, off racing nine. dirt cars now. Uh, and, and you see this team grow. And, and when I first heard about their ambitions with uh with their group they had together yeah, subscribe you know, you, to you your think, videos and i watch your videos it? thank can you steven really go out and show it, man. Week with an xfinity car in this series checkers and records it, and they've done it uh they do it right, now see and rowdy see brett moffett man. last year brett moffett built that helped build that team was a, a steady force now haley gets to learn she's been in the truck series uh, so the top six y'all have not pit junior, uh, the top uh, six have not pit and you just you see the hey silo semi noob nascar the, the fan here what's texas like as a track when I was driving in the Does it give good series. races? It's a mile and a half uh, oval. It's thing. fast. To, to Justin Marks asking him when he was driving the 42. Where's on tires? And I Let's get some more. That's said, right. We're trying to get to hey, 11,525. And he said, I love to see it, brother. And uh, it's moments like that that I see with, with Last few like laps Haley have uh, hurt uh, been that faster, it's though. It's starting to put together. Clean days is what she needs. L run all the laps. Yes, he has. That 848. That get those cars better. I'll got running a 3878. This would be the battle for second on track. Sam Mayer trying to run down Riley Herbst. And I say it would be the battle for second because they are second and third in line of those drivers that have already made a pit stop. 44 laps to go. Ninth, but the top six are going to have to come down pit road. And, and you see the lap since they last made a pit stop. Somewhere in the next 10 laps or so, everybody going to have to come under green. Uh, of those top six I'm referring to. Oh, this is a junior motorsports car, right? We talked about how strong the seven is. Well, the nine of Brennan Jones was, was boogieing at, at the end of that last stint before they made the green flag stop. Now you have Sam Mayer in the one, a JRM car, that's putting pressure on Riley Herbst right now to try to make this pass. They got speed today. They got a lot of speed. That's something we've seen out of Sam. Uh, not always starting off the best or having the best stages, but putting a race like Martinsville, drives up, takes the lead, passes all the JGR cars. You know, now you see him. The SHR cars have been the second best group. Uh, now we see him ahead of Cole and, uh, and right on Riley's bumper as he uh, slides off the two there. Ryan Truex, you see it in the pylon. We're watching the Riley Herbst. was up inside the top three, but he had to give up track position to make a scheduled green flag pit stop. Herbst looking back at Team Sam Meyer. Last Mayer. week at Martinsville, second two weeks ago at Richmond. One earlier this season at Las Vegas, and Ryan Truex back behind the wheel for the third time this year. And what would we'll happen? Wouldn't it be crazy if he wrecks again like he did at Dover, Phoenix? He if he's year. three seconds up? This is not four positions. Wouldn't that be nuts if Al Geyer wrecks again? Stop. Austin Hill is the race leader. He'll have to come down. Getting back on the lead yep. lap here, Ryan. See, that's... It's so hard to describe when you're racing in that, you know, outside of those top couple that get back on the lead lap quickly, like we saw a while ago with Cole Custer, the 98, the the, uh, the 7. But for Ryan C, this could be the make or break point of his race. This could be the, the, the Custer sweet move of the race, just getting back on that lead lap. And if the caution comes out now, he's able to just stay with that lead pack, not have to not have to wave around. He can pit if he wants. He just it opens up the box for that 39 car. Uh, it's hard to put into words how important that is at this moment. Puts him into sixth in the running order after everyone cycles through with their pit stop. Now we take a look at our Toyota top performers. It's been a really bizarre day for Joe Gibbs Racing. And even Corey Heim, uh, who had spent some time in the top 15 early in the race. Best of the bunch right now, Chandler Smith. He's going to have to make a pit stop. Taylor Gray had an unbelievable save early. Just saw Ryan Truex making his stop under green back in the 21st position. 
Yeah, it really hasn't been their day. Um, you know, Chandler showed some speed early in the race. Getting that damage is really hurting him. Uh, and, and right now they're they're taking a bit of a gamble, right? This is their chance. They're hoping, man, somebody just spin out or something. That's what they're hoping. They get a caution, and then they get thrown on their set of tires at 38 laps to go. But I, I don't think it's going to happen, and time is running out, and they're going to have to pit here shortly. You know, guys, as we look at this, we zoom out. I'm going to need a bigger screen to see the, the gap between the 7, the 98, and the 1 here. You know, it, it's, it goes back to that, that pit crew time. Uh, all, that, all that went into that got the gap for the 7. The 1 has a shot. He has put himself, Marty Lindley has made so the Justin G. to match it's, the speed. It's been now. interesting. You see him work up into the, the second, second and a half lane in turns one and two. Um, he's got a shot. Now, if he can go up there and pass the 98.7, we don't know. But at least she's 24, two like laps down, That's Justin. That's what Sam Mayer has gotten better at through last year, 2023. Uh, you know, in the years before that, he didn't make the car better. But you see that in his progression as a driver uh, from the very first time he walked into the Wise program out behind Ganassi uh, to now the transformation I've seen from him as a driver. His dad was driving him there, Adam. He couldn't even drive his own vehicle <laughs> over there. Then he's racing Arca uh, as we see Chandler Smith coming to pit road. He finally gives up his spot and makes a green flag spot a stop. Chandler Smith. So Chandler Smith coming in to pit. That damage, Joey, uh, really hurting that car. They ran this long. Now, if they have to pit. Uh, SVG you know, and no Austin Hill have not that pit yet. Damage. Yeah, that, and, Look at you know, SVG so trying long. to lead a lap. You know, we talked about splitting halfway to be the fastest. They went way past the split. They were banking on a caution. They went for that strategy. They never got it. They'll pay the price in the finishing order. Yep, that's fine. SVG on the same strategy. Uh, we saw Kyle Weatherman, the tweaker Chevy, uh, on pit road just a few laps ago uh, with Mario Goslin. They, they did the same thing. I love SVG it. is on the pits. What does he have to lose? He's learning. You know, and, and as I train with Shane, uh, a guy that's going to run a thousand I think they do too. this year. And I think they like it here days. in the spring. He's on pace to do it. He's got some buddies back home. They want to do that. Uh, he, he, Keep he's hitting that subscribe, y'all. We're trying to get to 11,525. On foot. I thought you were telling a tractor story again. No, come on. I know I didn't ramble, but I thought we were talking about Bathurst or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's so cool to see his, his Worldwide Express Chevy there uh, and see him learning and, and see him come back every week. And 34 to go. Smile and he, He's, he's talks about how cool it is to see Kyle Weatherman on those new tires, like I talked about, left front, or left rear rubbing. That'll clearance itself. Keep running. Stay ahead of that 21 uh, to stay one more lap from down. Austin Hill still leads. He's going to be on pit road soon under green, and that will cycle things back to Justin Allgaier. 33 laps to go. We're going side by side on FS1. All right, 33 laps to go. We'll bring in um, Herps's in-car camera during the caution. I mean, during the in, the commercial break as uh, Austin Hill just waiting to give it up. And then it's going to be about uh, Austin Hill's got a 15 and a half second lead on the on the second place, Justin Allgaier. Now, Austin Hill has not pit yet. So if you're just joining us and seeing Austin Hill leading this thing, he is not uh, has not pit yet, so he is hoping for a caution or something, but it ain't gonna happen. I don't think so. But uh, Algaier will take remain the leader after that, and then Herps will be in second. But he's gonna be a good uh, almost second, almost a second ahead of Algaier. So he's kind of he's brought him in. You can see actually see Algaier now in that uh, bright orange. Colored car. And that's seven. Cracked windshield. Schedule with safe life. Algaier getting that cash. Yep. But remember what happened last time? Algaier was out front leading, and he was like what a couple seconds ahead in that Phoenix race. So Algaier is not that car, but ahead of there, but the one in front of that. So that, passing the 51 of Jeremy Clements puts him two laps down. And there, Parker Redslaff will be the next one after him. Herps is coming a little bit every lap, it looks like. Yep. 
He's the fastest car right now. He's catching them. Let's see what happens here. But keep on hitting that like button. Keep subscribing to the channel. I think we've had a subscriber in a while. If you like what you see in here tonight, make sure you give us a subscribe. Our community is awesome. And uh, tomorrow we'll be doing the race tomorrow on Sunday afternoon. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thoughts on Xfinity going to CW channel? It doesn't really affect us at all because we'll be able to watch no matter what. And we'll bring it to you here. So, uh, But it should be interesting. We'll see that on CW. I just hope it's good quality. But his advantage, not huge over second place, Riley Herbst, four tenths of a second. And he's going to lose a lot of time right there. He wasn't able to clear the lap car there, and it's going to allow Riley Herbst to close up very close to the back bumper with 28 laps to go. Whoa, oh, contact! Here Leland comes the Heineman, go around. Leland Heineman, Heineman the sideways. Heineman the hits the wall, and, and the that's a caution. caution. Comes out. I have been exactly where Leland Honeyman is. Al Geyer and Heineman got into it. On a restart, but contact there, caution out. Now, 28 laps to go. And not everyone, but a lot of these drivers will have a set of tires waiting for them in the pits. Let's go back and watch what happened. You see the seven slide up the racetrack there. He knew how important it was to him to clear Leland Honeyman right there. Wasn't able to do it as he slid up the racetrack, but yep. he saw Honeyman he felt hit the, the hole pressure. hard. That's the second Justin time Algar spinning today. Felt the pressure of Riley Herbst being right there. Knows the race is about to be on the line. Jeff, uh, I got Leland go. Honeyman spun. He got in contact with Al Geyer. Al Geyer's and, fine. And that's part yeah, of racing hard at the end of the race. That lead Chevy is gone Leland, that he had. That DWC Chevy, you know, with, with Tyler Young, he's trying to stay one lap down, not be the second lap down. Um, that's that's so frustrating. Uh, as Leland as Honeyman, he spun. We we have the right Leland to race as the leader. The rookie. He, you also have the right to push them up uh, when you're frustrated like that. Obviously, you don't want to wreck them. Uh, crazy how that right front tire kept grabbing that wall. Uh, mm. That was uh, you don't see that very often. It seems like it must have bent something. Maybe it got the right front looking at the wall a little bit after the first hit. I mentioned the fact that a lot of these teams still have tires. He actually spun in the same place he did. That, Hills a lap down, yes. You, you do here, uh, right? He had just Austin pit. Hill. If you saw him in the lead, stayed he on the lead lap yet. through that cycle. So, and he did. So th this could be enormous for him. Depending on how everyone else plays the strategy, he's got a few laps on his tires under green, but he Stay could out. cycle to I, the race lead here. I think he's only got maybe. And I don't think he's got any oh, tires yeah. left because he had, right? But I think he only took two right. There you go. Yeah, picked. we got confirmation. That's how, that's how he stayed on the lead. That was so Smart. surprising. Uh, great call by Andy the, on, on the pit box. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That that saved their race. Now they come down, get their lefts. They're still going to have a better stop. And they're on the lead lap than if they would have taken four. Uh, they're, they're just, they're, they played the long game. Didn't quite work out. We're in 12th with two tires, Joey, and lefts at that. You come out with the lead, do, maybe. Do you? Is it worth coming in just to take the lefts? I, I don't know how the tire wears. Just stay out is. on the right side. You're well, saying. The other yeah. thing you got to think about too, when you come in and put lefts on, now you got a completely different balance of your race car. That I don't know which way it's going to go. I'm sure they don't either. So there's a little risk on that too. So this will be a very interesting situation. Tim Taylor, what's going on, man? On your tires, 26 laps to go. I think if you got one, set lane. I think it's Pollock like racing. On. 17 cars on the lead lap. And this is this is what we call the money stop. This is where the pressure is on the pit crew to All put right, let's their go driver back out to front. We've seen the 98 have speed. Herb's We've seen car. the 7 have a lot Watch of Watch the pit stop. Speed. Who gets out first? If the 98 gets out front and gets control of this race, If you're I'm in the top 10, you have to stay back. out. It's what these athletes live for. Who's they coming in? all week for these moments on pit road. These pit Does he go? Is he playing cat and mouse with them? We saw AJ Almanier pass his box earlier. See if everybody can hit their box. Ooh, they're coming Sam in. Mayer pitting from third. His Anybody crew staying out? Kyle Busch, who won no. the truck race last night here they are Regan Riley Hurts we go let's watch was on the splitter early who's gonna on. get out first stop fired off too loose but it got better as he ran the Al Geyer, both Al Geyer on the one side was loose previously well, it looks like Herb's crew is faster with the rear, but now he has no front who's gonna get out Josh who's gonna get out one of Sam Mayer fired off three but they got three numbers too tight oh the they the messed up run. right Number here nine of Brandon Jones his biggest issue out there on the track oh. three and four trying to correct that so they can make a play for the win Man, it looked like Herb's Austin crew Hill messed up. Down pit road. He took left side tires. Coming out behind he Brandon goes Jones. plus nine. Brandon Jones plus three wins the race off pit road. Allgaier goes back two. And Mayer goes back one in that cycle. Austin you know Hill. I'm going to tell you it's Parker Kligerman. Is that right? That's right. 
And, and I'm going to guess that's because they didn't have tires because they they were out of sequence right, earlier, right? I think they may be out of tires. And, and Riley Herbst, big loss there, minus four spots. Yep. Really, it's only two because the other we guys were watching two that. tires. But either way, that's going to take it, make it a lot tougher for him to get through the traffic. They were done on the front, the, th the front side, and they weren't done on the back All side. led 117 laps. He won both stages. And if he wins this thing, he's flat going to earn it. Hey, coming up next, top of the hour on FS1, a bitter rivalry is brewing in the Lone Star All State. All right, this should be interesting if Algaier can come through the field in 10th spot. Getting Jose Altuve. Three the Fords Astros in the top 20. Next on FS1, a battle in the AL West. Rangers. He's got a fast got hot rod. The number 98 the is going to win it. You know, if you go back, this is our eighth race of the year, and you look at the first seven. Boy, have we had some wild finishes in the Xfinity Series. Let's go week two, Atlanta. Everybody running out of gas. This one might have been the, the wildest finish of them all, where everyone ran out of gas. Poor Jesse Love, heartbreaker moment. Justin Algar has his race. 58 light, lights, guys. Thanks so much. Let's go to 200. Phoenix. That thing Val came back and got him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the bump and be run. More cautions, Unfortunately Craig says. for Van Gisbergen and Hill, it was Larson who drives through and wins at Coda for Hendrick Motorsports. First time that 17 did one on the Xfinity side for HMS. What will happen today? Four of our seven races this year have ended in overtime. Four of the seven have had the top spot change in the final three laps. So plenty of drama when it comes to 2024 in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And if you thought those restarts earlier in the race were intense, this is going to be very, very intense. Let's listen to seven radio. All guy are shown fourth on track. I've been hard on you from time to time on your pace and managing temper, and I'm going to give you a compliment. You handled that very well. I mean, it's obviously not ideal, right? Um, but I can't change it, so we'll make the most of it, buddy. Gonna go take what's ours right here. I'll be there. Eleven times in his career, all Guyer has swept the stages. Only two times. As he pulled into victory lane, we'll see if he can. Let's go, Team Chevy. Today. I made sure I smashed it like What's a ham burrito on the way in the stream. Always, like, thank you so much, Tim. We saw a little bit of a slow thank stop you, there. Lost a couple positions on pit road. Ultimately, the 98 car you'll see right here got angled uh, in. He got you, angled buddy. in just a little bit too Seven's much. Seven faster. He has proven he around. has the hot it rod. Throw the timing off completely. We'll see if he can get. Oh, he's in fourth spot. So. It's just that little. Parker Klingerman. No yeah, bad tires. Up high he has no more no tires more left, really. and uh, this should be not go good on a restart. On he jack. might cause a wreck. To get the whole car up. Unfortunately, he's got to go for the second pump on the jack. That's a couple seconds. He's still got a shot, though. Davin Restivo, that uh, his crew chief on that 98, they have the speed. Herbst, they get that man, he came out, ground, came like in second. The earlier of the came out seventh. Firing off. Obviously, we know we're not going as far. We can pump those tires up. We're not taking the time to add Packer. We can still add Packer in the Xfinity cars. We're slide the shims onto the, the shaft springs on the shock. Uh, but we, we have a shot. I'm not saying that uh, we love where we're at here with the 98. But, um, you know, one person I'm looking at uh, is that one car, Sam Mayer. We, we talked about him earlier. Continues to cycle himself forward. Uh, obviously, we know Parker Kligerman on the old tires. I think the 48 is going to uh, end up wrecking stars, himself. When he gets I think so as well. One. We just need to. He has uh, bad tires uh, on, and he mark. doesn't have any hey, tires week, left. We're going to Talladega in the booth. Silo Grand Slam. Was it? Was it? Was uh, it? Ryan Blaney, Daniel Suarez going to be up here. Switching it up. We'll see who does better here. Oh. Which, which teammates were. Suarez at Talladega here. next weekend. Come on. Booth pole like like on like Gluck does. Does he do that? Oh, come on. Act like you don't know. I actually, I yeah, actually did that. Man, the good race poll. We live by oh, that. That's how we decide poll. a race Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, so having a good booth poll. I yeah, think we should wait until drivers only to do that. Well, we can get it going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you do. That's job security for you. <laughs> by the way, I'll be your stage manager. Uh, thank you. In Charlotte, get your orders You're in You're going to be my you helper. Is what yeah. I'm gonna you know what? I'm going to bring you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you one of these. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I would appreciate that. I know you would. 
All right, we've done the chews. Parker Kligerman on those much older Let's go stars. stars has taken the inside lane. Brandon Jones to his outside. And we can't forget the 48 has one win. In his pit consisted of, of more grease around the worn Texas tires. Two years ago, courtesy of two-time champion Tyler Reddick. Now, this restart is going to be everything. Yep. Uh, two tires on the nine. I, I don't expect him to be the fastest right, with that. Let's but if watch he's able the restart. Let's air, see how good it, it is. may overcome the tire disadvantage that he has. Do you think the 48's able to wrap the bottom, hold the bottom lane down in turns one and two? Uh, if he's able to have a good enough restart to clear him, yes. Here we I think go, Green Flag. Let's go, Racing Boys. Off of two. 21 to go at Texas. It's a good watch them all the way around. Clearman. They're all packed on him, though. Through Austin the grass Hill again. There. Austin, Austin Hill. Hill got there. Yep, got those left side tires. Has some track position looking for the lead. Oh, the can he stick it, though? Brandon Jones hanging tough in that outside Oh, lane. Parker Indeed. is loose. He's going to grab the top spot. And How Justin about Al that? Justin Algar got very high off of turn two. Loses Brandon Jones. Position. Austin Hill getting high. Losing, the, losing a bunch of track position as well. 98 right. car clear into three. Riley Herbst. Right there with Sam wow. Mayer in that one car in second. Uh, this is Sam's opportunity. If he can keep that 98 car behind him, get by his teammate, as you see Cole Custer. Talgo was my first NASCAR race. Awesome, Martin. Of Ryan Sieg looking for third, driving to the inside of Riley Herbst. What a Look at Ryan Sieg. 39. He's going to clear back. him here. Yes. Clear up. Five times a driver has picked up their first career victory at Texas. Here comes the change for the lead. Sam Mayer on point. What's he right? goes by Brandon Jones, and Ryan Sieg is right there. Sieg is the driver I'm talking about, trying to get career win number one. Look at that 39 car change directions, Joey. He's able to get to the left rear of the one car. He's looking good. He's going to get a nice side draft into turn three here. He's going to try to clear him through the center. I can't show it the whole entire time, but we'll uh, we'll go back to it. We'll go back right to rear. it. Able to stay outside of him, but getting not. No. Able to stay right oh. on his right rear. An incredible Here battle. Here comes Sam Mayer. Sam Mayer outside. Ryan Sieg inside. 18 laps to go at Texas. He might get it done 18 here, to go. The 39 car is flying. All right, clear. Where did Z Ryan come Zee from? On point. This is a remarkable rally lane. Coming back to 17 laps to go, guys. That was an amazing restart for the 39. Where did Z come to from? Powerhouse teams in the Xfinity Series. And all Geyer is coming back after that rough ride on the restart. He's back in the top five and looking for more. And that's another short run car. We've bit. talked about Justin Algar's fire off speed. He needs to capitalize right Texas. now. He cannot oh waste my God. that pass in these cars he has to do it Ryan as efficiently C. as possible and the caution is out does Algaier have enough car spinning caution caution. 91 is Kyle Weatherman hey and we just I just talked about both these cars 91 tweaker on the hood Mario Goslin Weatherman team, spins and, Haley Deegan and we have another well. caution see Sheldon Creed there rolling away Got a replay here from, from a little ways away, distant view. See Kyle Weatherman already turned at the start finish line with Haley Deegan right behind him. Maybe a, a push gone wrong there. There's old McDonald the this weekend. Hard to say. Uh, a lot of contact to the 91. Maybe he finally got shut down. Eric Church, what's up, dude? Mm. You, you have cards back here, Joey. I'm not sure how all this went. Oh, we see contact with. Sheldon Creed. Sheldon Creed is rolling through there, hitting the ground. Haley, just an bit. innocent bystander. I I spoke too soon there. Hard to say exactly how that started. Yeah, you got, like I was going to say, you, you have cars back here that there was wave arounds. We we had a, we got lot a bunch of old McDonald fans in here. Caution coming out at the end of the last uh, the last run after the green flag cycle. Maybe they finally uh, caught up with him. On, on the 18 here. It looks like he'll be able to, to keep going, though. Sheldon Creed, one of those dash for cash drivers. So it's What's up? I'm a pirate. What's up, dude? Situation for him late in this race. Same for his teammate, Chandler Smith, who's 17th. Oh. It looks like it's going to be one of those junior motorsport Chevys that takes home the cash today. Ford fan. Mayor Mike second, H all is a Ford fifth. fan. Going to be inside of 15 laps to go when we get the restart. Had a whole lot going on this afternoon at Texas. Jesse Love starts on the pole. One of his young friends, 
full time in the or truck Jesse series. Lowe. Taylor Gray with an He's in the top ten at least. Two. Sixteen teammates getting really close together here. Josh Williams packing air on Daniel Dye. Sixteen going to roll out of this caution right and get Let's top three. As Justin Allgaier wins stage one and stage two. Seed has to win as Carpenter says. Today. Jeb Burton had a strong car, got into the wall. Look at Ryan C. He ran his best lap at lap 36. 181. Yep. And Him and Sam. Right now for the seventh time today. You see the damage for Weatherman. Haley Deegan trying to hang on to it there. Good job by the, the next half dozen cars there. Just to slow down. Don't do anything crazy. They're wrecking. You can't do anything about it. Just try to slow down, which is really hard with these Xfinity cars, the truck arms. You get a lot of wheel hop uh, if you're not careful with the downshifts. Right. And what a restart. Oh, I remember that. By, by everybody up towards the front. But I remember that, Ken. In a smaller team, able to get themselves. I was like, he just ruined that guitar. The lead, passing these powerhouse teams, put themselves in position. We talked about the other cars that are right there. The, the cream has risen, risen to the top at this point. You look at the, the 7, the uh, 9, Bear, the 98, uh, the Barry, 1. Those uh, are the best cars of the day. Pretty the much expected, kind of right? He was I didn't think he was going to lose it. Five, sometimes, maybe 7th Pretty race, much expected he was going to win. Big restart at the end of the race. Puts himself in position to win. It was his, ra restart. his race to lose. Yes, it was good. It was he his race to win. They were under green, turned left under the one car. That does not happen at this level of our sport. The Sieg family has been in this so long. Um, with his younger brother also out there, a real opportunity. Uh, obviously, Ryan's trying to go through his head right now. Think through his 300. Hit that subscribe button, y'all, if you haven't right? subscribed uh, already. Finishing second. I was in that trying race. Trying to get to 11,525. William Byron second. won, right? I think it was William Byron who won that race. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> How do William you not know lot. that with all the stats you've given us today? William wins a lot. Guys, I'm more comfortable mid-pack, okay? Okay, so I don't I never paid attention to who was winning those races, but I remember Ryan Sieg running second. By What's the way, Creed's excuse gonna there, be this year after driving for career him? start number three forty two for Ryan Sieg. The record for career starts before you get your first win, Jeremy Clements at two fifty. Ryan Sieg from Tucker, Georgia. And it's going to take all those stars. His best the finish is, is second he twice. He's never won a race. You've done this. You're warming your tires. You know what you're looking for in the tire warming, what gear you want to be in under caution. You're cooling your I know, y'all. Chest aid's pretty good in the booth. They can. They're trying to get the, the water temperature down, so they have the most power on the start. Not the case <laughs> uh, I'm sure it is. Now. Ryan's never what do you think? Chest aid? Thumbs up or thumbs down in the booth? Uh, thumbs up? Form. Thumbs and down? That's where he has a bit I think he's done pretty good. Because racing for 10th, racing for fifth, racing for the lead, racing for 20th are all completely different. Your, the tools that you need to have in your toolbox to be able to execute passing cars, restarts, all of that strategy is You mean he doesn't uh, leave you there, you there with his dog barking all the time? How you, where you typically Jeff? race. He doesn't have as many tools in his toolbox right now, quite frankly. That guy. And, you know, he's going to learn a lot one day, very quickly, one and day. he's been doing it long enough to have enough experience Thumbs and watch enough and, and seen enough to, to put it all into play. But this is going to be a big challenge for Ryan Seed to pull this one off. He very well can. I'm not saying he's out by no means, but he's going against drivers that oh, race in this Eric, position, late race tomorrow. restarts. Racing for the lead. DW is the best, week. Craig says. Yeah, he does have, though. He has Tim Fetal on the roof. Guy, he's going to know how to coach him. He's going to know how to get him calmed down, talk him through. I'm sure they're talking on the radio right now. And Matt Noyce, longtime crew chief in the sport. Spent some time as is more of a, a, I'm not sure exactly the role, but at SHR on these Xfinity cars. The, the 98 double zero working there in uh, the last several years. Now over on the box, calling the shots, obviously bringing speed to that 39 car. Um, it's making a difference. We've got a great finish coming here. And when I think of late rallies and magical moments in the history of NASCAR, I think about Ross at Martinsville. We had to do it. The hell melon. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't remind me. I thought about it off turn four when I saw the white flag. I checked with Brandon McReynolds, Phil Surgeon. They said, yeah, I don't know why I did it, Joey. I, I know why you did it. You got the championship else. four. I know why you did it. <laughs> Maybe your nickname. And you're freaking crazy, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your nickname should be the, the outlaw because we can't do that anymore, you know? I still don't believe that's the first you thought of it. It Just was. Not, you didn't think about this for years when you were playing video games. Like, man, I when can I run the wall. Eight. I don't know. And then it all yeah. came back he to He wasn't you, right? playing video moment. games. He was out 
picking watermelons, right? I mean, you know, I was playing video games with Kevin Harvick on the cover, so that tells you anything. All I was thinking about in Phoenix the next week was how far back is Ross, and is he going to do this into the last corner? And I knew you were going to do it if, again. If, if it worked your, once, you are going to do it a second time. Well, your teammate, the 12, had already blocked me yes. to keep me back there. All right, and then here I knew we go. He would just block me the... again <laughs> if I did it on the wall. And then Green we go flag. a year later, I block him, but then it's a bigger deal. Mm. Let's look at first-time winners <laughs> here at Texas I, Motor I, Speedway no five here. times. We're going down the back stretch As the still. driver picked up their first career win here. Yeah. I'd say it's going down the uh, back stretch. Who? Dale Jr., 98. Kurt Busch is first Sam, let's get a good restart and get this win, Holly B. says. Running in cup. Trevor Bain, 2011. Chase Elliott. Chad Lee says, says I sense an accident. When he won here for Junior Motorsports in 2014, and Eric Jones did it one year later as a part-timer. And I remember when he won that race, Eric Jones, Jeff Gordon was in the booth with us calling the race on FS1. So that was a cool moment. Man, cool. that's uh, that, Do you think Dale had the beard in 98? They didn't give him the, the young picture. No, no. <laughs> no. They, they didn't do that like they did everybody else. We'll have to work else. on that. Somebody on Twitter can find that, I'm sure. Oh. Going to be 11 to go. Sieg Mayer on the front row. Row two, right, Hurst and Jones and Allgaier, who has dominated this race, restarts in row three. Here, Here we, we go. go. One right more right time. Right 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 the race of the boys. Pushing that 39, another Ford. Almost clear into turn one. Ryan Sieg is with Sam Mayer. Hang on, he's right here. He's Got clear. Him. Clean air is everything. Ryan Sieg back to the lead. Oh, Thank you, boss yeah, he's man. Got run. He's got the two second and Thank third you, boss place. man, for that. Each other. He's got to run as fast as he Herbs can. Herbs, go to second. These two cars behind him do have a lot of speed. And you hear him and Mayer. A lot next to each other. You know Ryan Sieg's on the Battling. Line the Tim Fita with a spotter probably telling him, just look out the front. They are side by side in your mirror racing. Just hit your marks. Do not ever drive. Wrap that bottom. Don't play with the outside until they get a little closer. He's driving away. You see right there, Justin Algar, Sieg, AJ Allmendinger, gone. Right behind him. Ten Car laps to go. One, Parker Retzloff off turn two, guys. As of now, we stay green. Going to be nine off. laps to go this time around. Sieg pulling away. Well, for Problems Kurt. for the 98. Mayer is through. Allmendinger and Allgaier are getting oh, oh, no. And now contact. Brandon Jones sideways. And you see a left front fender rub. Left front I, tire I'm going, sure that left rear happened, tire going down I'm not for sure her. What was going wrong with the 98 before that? That sucks. Sieg is saying, just get those cars back to pit road. I don't need a caution. His advantage, 1.3 seconds with what will be eight laps. Maybe he's staying out there. Right. But he is not so in contention. Three wide, four wide for a moment. Three and four is Brandon. All right, I'm going to go to AJ. Hold on a second. They sort I'm going to AJ real quick. Off the pace. More contact with the two car down the front stretch. We'll go to AJ real what's quick. Happening back behind the race leaders. Be back here in a second, y'all. Thanks for subscribing, All Big Mac Jr. Big Mac, thanks for that subscribe. He's Algar, two he... seconds behind Ryan Sieg. And I don't think that's enough time for the seven of Justin Algar to one pass Sam Mayer and run down Ryan Sieg and pass him. Right now, Ryan Sieg is laying down some lap times. He is this is Almondinger. Seven laps fourth. to go. Only gave up a half a tenth that lap, Joey. Six hundreds to Sam Mayer. That is plenty. We've Here comes got a, Hertz a into the pits. Gap. That sucks we for him. We can give up a tenth of a second every lap. Just keep it in line. You're welcome, William. Under the limit of the tire. Coming back to six to go. Saw Riley Herbst had to make a pit stop. Had a great day, but unfortunately not going to be able to finish it off. Advantage down to just over a second for Can Ryan Sieg. Can Algaier pull this off? I don't think so. Gave up another half a tenth. Nothing really too much to worry Algaier about right there. Algaier in front of Allmendinger. And he's, he's got to make up he's over a second and a half. Where is the speed? I only have a six, six laps, laps to, to go. go. I have to find speed right now to reel him in that much distance. Hey, coming to five to go. As we look back further in the field, guys, into turn three, Parker Kligerman, he didn't pit, was out of tires after that incident earlier. Uh, really slow off turn two that last lap. He stays Five on laps track to go. Though. How do you think Ryan Sieg is feeling in there? I know before one of my first big wins, I get inside the car. I feel like my, I'm shaking a little bit. Like you're nervous. You're waiting for something to happen. You're, you know what you're right on the edge of doing, coming to four to go. You're giving up a little bit of time. You see him in the mirror. You're pushing Come as hard on, as you Fred. can. Come on, Fred. 
the intensity is huge. He's raced for 12 seasons. You can live with a sea win. His first win. 12 exactly. years in the making for this moment right now. This is a family His first ever win if he Tucker, does. Georgia. They had never won despite all their hard work until Four last laps summer. to go. Eric Almirola came over, drove for them at Sonoma, went out and got the checkered flag. But what it would mean for this group if Ryan, who's put so much time and effort in, could deliver a trophy to his dad, Rod, and everyone who has worked so hard, it would be incredible. Three to go. Ryan Sieg leading at Texas. We gave up another 10. No cautions, y'all. So Let this kid have it. Up. No cautions. Yes, he's shaking, Joey. Yes, he's shaking. Yes, he's thinking about everything that can go wrong, but he's a race car driver. What he does as a, def a default to everything is drive the car on the gas, turning the wheel. He's running the second lane, second and a half, Art, really. Um, he thinks that's what's best. Uh, as we come off turn four, two laps I hope ago, so we too, see Matt Noyce on his, crew, on his pit box. Ryan Sieg, 36 years old. He's married. He's got three girls at home. I'm sure they're off the couch right now. He just <laughs> wants to see that white flag and then try to finish the deal. But Sam Mayer is rallying. Only three tenths of a second. Under back. a half a second. Guys, it's going to be tight. This one's not over yet. He's oh, running that high oh, come line. On. Sam Mayer, the air on the bottom. He Sam was able to gain a ton of two time laps to go. Two last time. White flag is out. One lap to go. Sponsored one lap to go. It ends if there's a caution. Bank. Ryan Sieg is leading Sam Mayer. I don't Mayer think he gets to him. Off turn two. Sam's gonna get a here he big comes. Off of turn two. Here he's gonna oh. pull underneath him. Huge Inside. rally for Sam Mayer. Oh, come on, down dude. Away. Final lap. Mayer Sam gonna make Mayer. the pass. Can see get Go the down low, kid. Where they are. Off of turn Go down low, two. kid. Sieg and Mayer going at it at Texas. Get it. Back to the start finish line. This one is gonna be tight. Who got it done? Oh my Bono God, finish. I'm so close. What a thriller. Mayer and got. Sieg. Oh. Oh, man. Point zero zero two. What a... Oh. What an incredible finish. Back and forth. Wow. Sam Mayer and Ryan Sieg. This is and here the they are at the line. Oh, my gosh. Oh this is one of the closest God. finishes I've ever seen. Sam Mayer, yes. the one car, Carolina Carports gets By the win. inches. Eight, oh, inch. my gosh. Still not official. It's closer than the oh, Atlanta finish, y'all. It's, it's so close. You feel for Ryan Sieg. He, he was able to uh, – Sam did such a good job get off the turn two, getting that run to pull man. underneath. Oh, my now, gosh. He's Ryan into the corner, and he overshot it in the three, and they crossed the back. I'm just incredible. The is under review. The is still under review. It's still under the review. The winner of this race, the one car of Sam Mayer over the 39 of Ryan Sieg, Adam. Sam Mayer, final lap, makes the rally. Sieg didn't give up. But in a photo finish, it's Sam Mayer who wins for the first time this season. And this is the run I was talking about. Sam did a good job getting up a little higher, getting a run. Ryan Sieg, you know, we, we said he fired off good, not so much on the long haul. The one over sends it in there, gets it a loose stuff. <laughs> Ryan turns back underneath them for a Big track time race. loose here by the 39. They hit. Oh, they faded out right there at the end. Oh, my God. Right, look at that. The one car actually has a flat tire look. here. It goes down in turn one, hits the wall. He has two flat tires now. Will you look at it? Now. Just look at it. Shades of Atlanta Motor Speedway wow. for the cup cars. Sam Mayer by inches. It's the second wow. closest finish in series history. And heartbreak for Ryan Sieg. Who was that close? Uh, I bet Atlanta. Career win, Atlanta was pretty close one. too. Oh, I feel so bad for the Sieg, season. man. Get out after. But Mayor's first win too. A couple weeks in a row and just put his hands up. He's like, "What am I doing? How am I? What, how does this keep happening?" Now he stands on the roof as a winner this year. DNFs in three of the first four races this season for Mayor. Finished 30th a couple of weeks ago at Richmond after that so contact close. on pit road. What a finish. But today, they didn't give up. 
and he wins the race. And oh, by the way, $100,000 via the dash for cash. Uh, me too, T-Van. I don't think he's even thought about the hundred grand yet. Point yeah, one and a half inches. And exactly. There's no win that feels better than one and a half to two ones. inches. The ones victory. That, are that tight of winning, it's just unbelievable uh, emotions. And you said it, a tough season to start so far. One of the roughest seasons I think that team's ever experienced to start. And uh, and here's the the disbelief of being that close, leading, you know, taking the white and not being able to get to the track. Oh, it's, it's, it's heartbreak for me. I don't um, think he, that, that he collided team, what Rod puts in, with family, Mayor. Uh, I think if he wouldn't have done that, he might have had the win. The on the on the hood, it's uh, it's just heartbreak for Ryan. All of the years they put in to be that close, but if they keep bringing cars like that, Joey, that's what you Absolutely. have to do to win in NASCAR. Keep putting yourself in position. Josh, what do you have? Margin of victory for Sam Mayer here at Texas, 0. .002. And you're the Dash for Cash winner as well. $100,000 to the team. Talk to me about those final, that final lap and what this win meant. That's absolutely unreal. This Carolina Corporate Chevrolet was certainly as fast as Xfinity Internet. But Thank you so much, Ken. This team, the amount of diversity we had, the adversity we had to fight this entire year so far. And to come to a mile and a half that <laughs> I want to say I'm good at, but it took a lot. It took every ounce of me to do that today, but <laughs> so proud of my team, Marty on top of the box, Kevin on top of the roof. He, he might have won that race because he told me bottom of three and four was better, so props to him. Your Texas winner Ricky and Craven your and Jeff Cash Gordon winner, and Kevin Sam Harvey. Yeah, those, those are fast. He's out of gas. Sam will be going for another $100,000 next weekend at Talladega. Regan? Well, Ryan Sieg, the other side of that photo finish. Oh, so incredibly this. close to your first career win. Ryan, what are the emotions right now? Ah, sucks. You know what I mean? We, we had a, a really good car. Just kind of, I got tight and then I did, tried to change my line to do different things and just kind of, you know what Welcome, I mean? Welcome, Karen. Fell behind and then I saw him coming and then I... I Every ounce he said. And then at the end, I was trying to just run him in the wall, try to try to win the race. You know what I mean? We were so close. Just uh, ah, this sucks. You know what I mean? I've I've been in second before too many times, and just gotta. But this is a good thing. You know what I mean? We're we're running where we need to be in the top five. So uh, just gotta clean up a few things, and uh, it, it'll come. We just you know what I mean? Thanks to Stuart Haas and uh, Matt Noyes, everybody that's on uh, this team. Just uh, we gotta keep fighting. We're right there. Just gotta keep it up and. Uh, We'll have our PSYOPs Ford uh, in victory lane here here shortly, but uh, just sucks. You know what Thank I mean? Thank you, we Curtis. Had a super fast car. Just thought we had it at the end. Just uh, just got tight and mm, sucks. Thanks, Ryan. What he said. You know, Adam, these moments are what will fuel Ryan Sieg and that family team to keep going. These chances to win. That's all. All right. So there we are. Sieg misses it by two inches. So there is Sam Meyer, Rig Sieg. Ryan Sieg, Justin Allgaier dominated this race. He finishes third. A.J. Allmendinger, fourth. Cole Custard, Andy's Custard car in fifth. Austin Hill, sixth. Ryan Truex, seventh. What a good finish for Truex after slamming the wall about in the third stage here. Sammy Smith, eighth. Jesse Love, oh, so all close on that, but does get a top 10 finish. Ninth, Anthony Alfredo, 10th. Taylor Gray, 11th. Josh Williams, 12th. Brandon Jones, 13th. Cal Sig, 14th. Chandler Smith, 15th. Jeremy Clement, 16th. Corey Heim, 17th. SVG gets a top 20, 19th. Sheldon Greed, 19th. Matt Benedetto, top 20. Look at that. Brendan Poole. Parker Retzloff. Haley Deegan in 23rd. Daniel Dye, 24th. Parker Hickerman, last car on the lead lap. And then there's all your cars that are lapped down. And that is it. So... Awesome. So I want to thank uh, Big Mac Jr. for subscribing. Appreciate that. I want to thank Bossman5, number five fan, Jared, Eric, Errol, Earl, Kev Cab, Buzzard33, Blue Safari, and all the private subscribers today. And Mike Standards is also from the last stream. But uh, awesome, awesome. What a race. So hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you tomorrow for 11,530 on the subscribed. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the NASCAR race tomorrow afternoon. Make sure your notification on. The stream will be up later on tonight. And make sure you give a like before that or before we even start the stream. So I want to thank my wife, Spain, for always doing what she does while I'm sitting here with you guys. I love you, girl. I want to thank my mods. 
You're always doing a great job. I want to thank my members for giving your hard-earned money back to me. And I want to thank you for watching all the time. So until then, we'll see y'all later. It's time for some baseball. See y'all later. Peace.